Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. <laughs> Bye, Atari. <laughs> <laughs> Your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 homebrew. Yeah, I think you scared him. <laughs> I did. Ah! He went, ha, 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 get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're broadcasting at 60 frames a second, mm -hmm. so make sure you're watching at that. Um, today. <clears throat> what wonderful it, games are we playing today? So many wonderful oh, games. Oh, awesome. It's part two of our nominee playthrough mm. for the Atari Homebrew Awards, uh, third uh, annual Atari Homebrew nice. Awards. Um, today we will be playing ports, Atari 2600 ports, okay. completed ports, because we did the uh, works in progress last episode yes so when you were do did, when we did the announcements yeah, yeah. and for completed games there's a lot of categories yes you know there's the game overall yeah there's music mm -hmm. and there's graphics mm -hmm. um and i think that's it <laughs> so three categories <laughs> okay so the games we're going to be playing tonight are nominated in one of those three categories okay yeah Okay, because there's a lot of crossover, right, between the games for some of the, the yeah, for categories. Yeah, for completed games, okay. yeah, there's crossover. So okay. it's not, you know, there's six games per category, Yeah. but there's games that are nominated in a number of categories. Nice. So tonight we'll be playing ten games. Excellent. Yes. Um, I want to thank the Twitch subscribers who uh, support the show and tune in all the time. Uh, Alan the Fur, Armscar, Coder, Catalogs, Coconut 81, Dianoid, Dan ABC, Drexel, Goku, Great Defender, Hoosier Rapper, Johnny WC, Juan Urado, Carl G, Mark Space Inc., Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Miss Command, MK Smith, Best of Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Storm, Packrat, VG, Kohog, RC70, Repentless, VG, Scum Software, Six Sweet, Smitty B, S Ramirez, The D Train, Welsh Mini 9, Thrust, Tiki Dan K, and Trek MD. I'm dropping all the numbers now from the <laughs> list because I'm pretty sure most of them chose them because somebody else had their well, non-number nick i see yeah because right? uh you've kept anything 2600 or 7800 obviously yeah but, and people um, put their birth date and people put like goku one 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 two one two it's like yeah, it's, yeah. it's just numbers so yeah. And Ground Trooper. And Ground Trooper. <laughs> because he recently subscribed and he is right in, right here. Yeah. Yes. Oh, their most so, recent sub. Yeah. So he didn't make this list here. He'll, get, he'll be on the next. It's not automatic. Week. Yeah. Um, but you'll be on the next week. And you get a special shout out right now because he just resubscribed for 27 months. Wow, he's been subscribing Ground for. Ground Trooper. That deserves yeah. a for sure. <laughs> 27 months without oh. interruption, which is amazing. I, I think it is. Yeah. I, because a lot sure. of people kind of got kicked out and forgotten around covid like like yeah. um some people yeah it's, couldn't it, tune it, in couldn't tune in they, and they do keep track of how many months in a row yeah but you have to keep resubscribing you it do. doesn't do a great job of telling you yes. that you need to resubscribe so. i actually i think the people who subscribe uh with prime have to remember oh and the, and the people who subscribe without prime just straight subscribe yeah. it's auto renewing oh really i think that's what i thought well, that's, it's yeah. not consecutive i have a 12 month streak oh i see still 27 months is a long time so if you want to support, support the show too you can for free like mm. we said with your amazon prime link it to twitch prime mm. click subscribe and it's all you get your name there nice. yep and make sure you follow and like all the things we're on because we're on all the things so you get uh reminded of special things mm. coming up special shows if you um are subscribed on facebook or like on facebook you get all the information mm. usually i only put super special stuff on instagram and and twitter because i don't want to bombard people there um so i have some mail exciting exciting mail it's like opening presents yes it is this one i know what this is yep Let's see if I can find the edges. <laughs> don't stab yourself. Whatever you do. I don't want to stab myself or, or stab you <laughs> or the cats yeah. or stab what's in it. Yeah. The cats were all here and they were all over us. And then you started speaking Both and of they them. ran away. Like, ah, <laughs> run. I want to thank all the people who are in the chat tonight, too. Yeah. Um, so you want to oh, scroll, scroll through. through them? Let's get the mouse over there. Mm. Oh, that doesn't work on the couch I can do at it over all. here. I can do it over here. Um, sure. You can scroll here though with the little wheel. Uh, okay. Who do we up. have? Ground Trooper, Dan ABC, Jam Tex, Carl G, Captain Classic, Al Nefer, Marco Johannes, Armscar Coder, uh, Mr. Vicelli, uh, who 
else? Who else? Uh, I got everyone. Blackets. Right at the beginning. That's it. Excellent. Thank you for tuning in live yes. on Twitch. We do broadcast on Twitch live if you're watching this on YouTube later. And then we post it to YouTube afterwards. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this is really hard to open. I mean, it's good that it's not going to fall out in shipping, but... Um, or get looked at Yeah. by somebody Cousins. in the process. <laughs> Although if Cousins wants in, they'll get in. They'll, they can do what they want. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got some packing peanuts, which I do have to dump out because I can't even get to anything. Oh... That's a lot of peanuts crammed yes. in there. And then there's some paper, a whole bunch of paper. Oh my god, it's really crammed in there, <laughs> which, is, which is good. Yes. Oh, see down there? It says Atari. Something. This was an Atari box of something. Hmm. Pilfer-proof tape. Atari pilfer-proof tape. That's funny. We've really? got like custom Atari tape inside. Oh, wow. So... There are a couple things here. Cool. Oh my goodness. Your Atari order was shipped using new environmental friendly biodegradable shipping peanuts. Mm, <laughs> tasty. The Atari shipping tape is made from paper that is recyclable too. Please recycle this Atari shipping box. Mm. It's all Atari. That came from Best Electronics originally with that tape. <laughs> yes, you are correct. There's a whole bunch of like. There's like a simply the best, like a thing from 1994. Really? Some like newsletter. Nice. Um, some award they won from 2002, 2003. Nice. Uh, this is a certified best electronics was voted the best Atari supporting company. How many are there now? <laughs> Probably them. <laughs> Would Atari age count as an Atari supporting company? <sighs> I mean, they, they yeah, do Atari-related sort of. things, but yeah. not, like, official Atari. And they've got ads for things that you can buy from them. Mm. Um, list of stuff. But that's not what's exciting. Oh. We'll get to the unexciting one first. Pixel likes packing peanuts. Yes. Now, I had to order mm. um, enough stuff to put it over twenty dollars worth okay and the thing i ordered was nineteen dollars and 99 cents oh no <laughs> so i had to buy something yeah so they had a whole bunch of stuff a lot that was sold out that i did want yeah but what i did buy to put it over Sorry. that <laughs> is this Ooh. and oh. this is i believe the pack-in european controller for the 7800 or the 2600 Mm. Um, and oh. this has been refurbished by Best Electronics so that it has all new internal components. Mm -hmm. um, so it's kind of like a uh, NES controller. I can't remember what it's actually called. Neat. Yeah. Warning, warranty will be uh. null and void if this label is damaged or removed. <laughs> From Best Electronics. Yeah. It feels pretty good. It I, I wonder... Um, 7,800 Euro pad. Euro yeah, pad. It is says. European. Yeah. So it has the two buttons for the Which 7800. Nice. Yeah. I mean, it works in 2600 and yeah. all the rest that use nine pins Yeah. Uh, for at least one button. That sounds, that looks so this good. this might I mean, actually work well. Yeah. It's very stiff, though. The, very stiff. Like, is that intentional? It just seems really stiff. I don't know. I, I hope it's Short sensitive. Travel. If it's sensitive, then that's fine. But yeah. Yeah, uh, Jamtech says stiff. it was used on the 7800 and packed in with the later 2600 Junior Juniors. sold in Europe. So this is cool. a European... Uh, controller. Yeah. So I thought, I don't have one of these. Cool. I've seen them for sale at conventions, and they're yeah. always fairly expensive. Yeah. Because they're European. They just don't exist here. Yeah. Um, but the real reason I ordered from Best Electronics yeah. is in this case, which I'm not going to open up. Or maybe I will. No, there's not much to see. Um, oh, they've sealed it. Yeah, I'll open it up. Um, it's a pokey chip. <laughs> it's a pokey chip. <laughs> Very, very exciting um, because I destroyed the one that I was trying to get out of the uh, ball blazer yeah. cart. That was a fun day. Because I was inexperienced with pulling chips. So here it is. Where's my mouse? <laughs> <laughs> Stole my mouse. Pokey and Gumby? Just mm -hmm. 
pokey. <laughs> so let's go to the webcam view. You guys can see the pokey chip. And the black cat. How close I can get. Not that close. Oh, I can. Yeah, that's, that's not really too bad. Great. There's the pokey chip. Um, they said it was their own pokey chip. Like, what did they say? Custom Pokey Chip by Best Electronics. Mm. So I'm going to have to look this up. IMP8322FQA. I don't know if somebody can type that in and mm. take a look for that. Um, I'm, I'm assuming it's just a Pokey Chip. Otherwise, you know, is Best Electronics making their own Pokey Chips? They are available for $19.99 mm. from them, but you can only order one. I tried to order really? two and they're like, no, one. One you get per. one. <laughs> Because they want no soup for you. No soup for you. <laughs> they want everybody to have one, right? They don't want yeah. one person to go, I'll take your whole stock. Yeah. And then turn around and sell I them for so. way more than twenty because you can sell them for more more than twenty. Best Electronics is a weird policy that if you order you have to order over a certain amount, but if you want anything more than three items, then they won't we'll sell, sell you anything. anything. <laughs> they do sound like that. Yeah, I'm glad he rations them too, because I wouldn't be able to get one right mm. now. I'd mm -hmm. have to I don't know what I'd do. Mm. Just beg and mm -hmm. beg on eBay or beg in the forums. Hi, we'll come up here. No, we have no yeah. treats. Um, and speaking of the pokey chip, which is a very important thing. Actually, the pokey chip's going in my concerto, mm. so I can hear the glorious sounds. Mm -hmm. And by the time we get to going over the nominees for seventy-eight hundred, we'll be able to hear them all properly. And then we go back to regular rotation of games after all the nominations and we can play them as well mm -hmm. in full sound um so you, speaking of mm, I sorry think you want to flip from the webcam no they like us tiny <laughs> they like the little fluffy cat though oh yeah there's yeah. Yeah, it's amusing yeah um so speaking of pokey there was a post in the atari age forums late last night about the pokey engine mm. and this was posted by mk smith the Pokey Engine, 7800 Pokey Engine. Welcome to the Pokey Engine for music and sound effects playback on the Atari 7800 console. Now, this is an engine made for 7800 Basic, okay. which is a programming language for making 7800 games, which almost all of the programmers are using gotcha. for the games. I'm not sure who uses straight assembly, but it appears 7800 Basic is very powerful. Um, the engine was initially developed based on the disassembly and reverse engineering of Miss Pac-Man by Atari mm. by Perry Thuente, TEP392, and Bob DeCrescenzo, Pac-Man Plus, for the purpose of providing pokey sound playback for the Pac-Man collection. Mm. The engine has since been enhanced and now is also being used for other homebrew titles such as Million Molly 7800, uh, Popeye, and Danger Zone, thanks to the awesome musical abilities of Bobby Clark. Uh, the 7800 Pokey Engine has been kindly open sourced by the contributors and is freely available to the Atari Age community to, for use with any project. Yeah. Um, so the following people, all the people I just said, uh, Perry Thuente, Bob De Crescenzo, Bobby Clark, uh, Mike Sarna, uh, Matthew Smith, and Paul Lay. Uh, and here are the titles so far using the Pokey Engine. Mm -hmm. So you can see what it is capable of if you listen to music in those. Pac-Man Collection, Millie Molly 7800, and Arkanoid. Popeye mm. and Danger Zone. Nice. I couldn't take a screenshot of James' new Poké Chip, but it looked like the one I took from the Spare 800 XL. Because yeah. there's various sources for Poké Chips. Oh, there's gotcha. The Ball Blazer cart. Yeah. There's a Commando cart. Yeah. There is Atari computers. Mm. There is the Atari 5200 as well, which is an 8-bit uh, computer. Mm. It kind of morphed into a console. There's also, if you want to tear it apart, the Atari XEGS as mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. I believe as a pokey chip because it's also a, a computer, Atari computer. Gotcha. So I'm guessing there's a bunch of different um, sources, sources and different types and branded mm -hmm. chips. Um, you want another screenshot of it? Here. I would like to know uh, where it's from. So you ready? Ready for a screenshot? Here nope. it comes. There's a cat. Come on, Atari! Sorry. That's not the focus yet. Come on. Let's get my hand in there. It's 
not very happy with this. Yeah, it was doing really well last time. There, there it go. goes. Got it. Yeah. IMP 8322FQA and the rest, which may be important. Usually it's the top thing. Yeah. Oh, he's playing with the... Uh, yeah, he likes packing peanuts. Loves packing yeah, peanuts. Yeah, let's see how this goes. The texture and the noise. Yeah. Um, <laughs> since the 7800 doesn't come with a pokey, would it make more sense to write a sound engine for an off-the-shelf available chip? Well, that's what's happened for mm. the Dragonfly, which has a Yamaha chip in it, okay. which is much more accessible. So in the dra in the concerto, there's room for one pokey chip. In the in the dragonfly, there's room for either a pokey chip or a dual pokey chip, mm -hmm. pokey max, and also a Yamaha chip. So it actually has three sound chips in the mm -hmm. dragonfly. So anyway, Atarians are pokey obsessed. <laughs> yes. Um. So and there's the change log. And so if you're a developer, um, <laughs> there is a whole bunch of information on how to use it nice. and examples. So um, that is, oh, people can't see it. Um, so that's a really uh, great resource for people who mm -hmm. are making new 7800 games and don't want to be confined to the TIA. And now that we have the Concerto and the Dragonfly, um, people can play your games with the sound. They can play it in an emulator. There's no reason not to support the Pokey yeah. in games for 7800 cool. now. Oh, let's go back to the cat. Oh, yeah, he's, he's a got a, he's got a bunch out of that. Yeah, oh, oh. Oh, bad cat. He's he's excited about the packing uh, units right now. <laughs> so today we're going to be playing Avalanche, uh, B blocks. Oh, I need paddles. Um, <laughs> B blocks, uh, Blipskitball, Flappy Bird, Grunozerka, mm -hmm. Grunozerka, uh, Midspace, Pit Cat, Robot City, Tower of Rubble, and Zookeeper. Mm -hmm. We're going to be running through them. I'm so excited. Those are all awesome games. Yeah, so there's <laughs> 10 of them. Let's say two hours, an hour and a half left. So 90, nine, nine, 10 minutes each. Yep. Mm. So let's get on with it. Um, first one, of course, is a paddle game. And I don't have a paddle out. But that is quickly remedied. Because <laughs> I have them all on the back of the door to the room. Oh, you've got four out now, Cat. Yeah. Oh, he's very excited. Oh, 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 here comes Pixel. You want to do this? Yeah. Well, I get it ready. Pixel's coming to cause trouble. Oh, oh. oh my goodness. <laughs> I got touched by something. <laughs> oh, my God. There you go. Thank you. I'm actually going to just turn this on before I plug it in. Because I notice that you put the paddles in, they go a little crazy. Mm hmm. switch over oh we've got some information uh james is oh he just IMP, put it he just IMP. put it what his, his and what did he say his was from 800 xl 800 xl yeah. okay so that's today avalanche boom hi oh now, now Pixel's here to crunch the uh, packing peanuts. Oh, that's fine. Nice. So you should be able to do something right now. It's no, this maybe not. This guy. <gasps> okay, there you go. So this is Avalanche. By oh. no, try the other one. No. Not in time. No, not working. This is working, but the paddle isn't. The button is starting and stopping. Here, here, here. Oh, what? You had it paused when you were trying to flip it. Oh, I had it paused? How? With the button. Oh. Yep. So he's got a pause on the button. Never mind. <laughs> okay, this is Avalanche, a 4K port of Avalanche uh, by John Champo of Champ Games. He did code and design. Uh, Thomas Yench, uh, additional coding and optimization. Nathan Strum on graphics. And David Exton for packaging, illustration, and design. And some of these games are nominated in multiple categories, so I'm going to read out the categories that they are nominated in. Excellent. Breakout meets Kaboom. Yeah. 
Yeah. Kind of. Like br it, you, it definitely the, has the look of, of Breakout. It's, yeah, it's got the colors along the top, the lines of colors. And Kaboom was based on this game, on Avalanche. So this came first. Yeah, this came first in the arcade. And then Activision liked it and made, wanted to make made their, their own, own game. Uh, Kaboom game. This gets so hard at the end because you're down to two and then one, one little paddle. lost a whole bunch of lives at the beginning, so, you know. <laughs> yeah. Not helpful. <laughs> uh, um, so let's see what this is nominated for it is nominated for uh, best homebrew port uh, for a game and also nominated for graphics and it's also nominated for best uh, under 4K, 4K and under port as well. So I guess there's four categories to look at for this, for, for today. Because we already played the work in progress ports last show. Cool shrinking effect when you lose a bucket. That wasn't in the arcade game. Oh, was it not? Shrinking makes it really hard. Oh, really hard. I don't know if that's an option. Yeah, um, you don't actually lose a bucket. It's when you go up a level. It's when, it's when, yeah, when the new bricks. The new, the new brick. Or uh, the rocks. Yeah, or are whatever falling. it is. Oh, the numbers were the date codes. 22nd week of 1983 and 27th week of 1983. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's really nice when they have that built into the chip itself. So I guess all they need to do is like rotate a number on a, on the stamp that's uh, on the assembly line, right? And it's helpful for them too if there's any recalls, if there's problems with the chip. They're like, oh, we need to recall these dates, and then everybody can check. <sighs> it is a hard game. It's fun. It's very it's challenging. It's very very fun though. Yeah. And um, if I'm quiet. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're concentrating. Yeah. And the graphics are quite. Um, good, like, and detailed. Like, all the rocks individually fall from the top, if you look along the top. Mm -hmm. And really, I think that's why it was nominated for graphics. Because, I mean, yes, they're kind of pixely, but it's the way it's done along the top. And he staggered them. So instead of like breakout where it's a complete line, there's actually separation between each of the rocks. And really only needs to keep track of one line at a time because after that line falls, it just goes to a new line and resets. Very hard to get to the end of this. Let me just see if there are any options. Oh, that makes it smaller. Oh, bigger, bigger. Bigger? Is okay. there bigger? No. Well, I switched the other one, so we'll see if, it, if you lose. Is it slower? Is there an easy and a hard? <laughs> I think a maybe. Usually it's B and B is easy. Yeah. Um, which I had it on. No, you're still losing it. Maybe if I have it on shrinking. What? I can't see. I can't see. <laughs> no. Memory saving. Yeah. And the um, the graphics for the falling rock falling rocks is, is oh, great, great too. Oh, they're great. Yeah. I mean, since they're each on their own line, they can be as detailed as you want, because you can make your buckets out of say the um say the ball because it's eight wide or you can even make them out of the other player and make them as wide as you want because everything's on its own line but to put this into 4k is incredible not only just for the game because it has a title screen and also an intro too and the music in the intro to pack all that into 4k is really quite an accomplishment And we'll move on after you uh, die, die. <laughs> at the end yeah. of this round. Yeah. See if you can make it to the end. Oh, I don't know. I don't think I did last time either. I think you did. Ah, did I? I think so. It's it's really it challenging. It is. It is challenging. You have to be oh. Oh, a little wobbly. A good a good kaboom player would uh, would, would do fairly well in this. Yeah. This is when it's. Oh, this is yeah. when it gets really. It's a little. Hard. It's a little wobbly. A little wobbly. Paddle too. Yeah. So yeah, very cool. So we're gonna move on to B blocks. Excellent. And um, actually, we should play a two-player B blocks. We? Mm -hmm. That's a fun, mm -hmm. fun game. Let me grab 
oven on the joystick. Let me clean up all the packing peanuts. Dispersed around the house by uh, the cats. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, Pixel's, Pixel's playing with me. Hey. Yep. Yeah. Hi. Playing? Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, he's going to play. Oh, he's playing. He's Are you going to play? Atari. Smack the paddles? Yeah. Smack the paddles. You hold that? Oh, oh sorry. Oh, no. It was he's snapping at. mean. I know he's no. mean. Oh. It was physics. Yeah, I it on James purpose. lost his seat. Yeah, you're going to play with the paddles? Here you go. Oh. So if you can pick B blocks, please. Mm -hmm. Oh, watch, watch oh. out for the kitty. Oh, you're gonna lose him. I know. I don't have the control. Can't control the kitty. Oh, what? Oh, probably because I turned it on without the. There we go. B blocks. Okay. So. I remember this one? I remember playing it, but. Oh no, which one is the two player? Here, I'll start it with one player and I'll look it up. So you have to match three or more. Oh, okay. Now I will look up the instructions for B-Box so I know which one is the two oh, that's player. Good. Pretty standard, like, crystal dropping game. <laughs> Whatever you call it. Um, uh, matching game. Matching games. Yeah, three, three. Match three? Yeah, three in a row. Called. Match three games? Yeah. Very fun. I believe this is a 4K as well. Oh, it's a 2K. This is amazing that they packed it into 2K. chip shirt very nice very because nice. i got a chip in the mail well, you ha yeah anticipated that i was going to get a chip it, yeah this is a very very colorful game and i know there's yeah. a lot of uh back and forth about the colors and matching was that a different game uh but i did they did hey no he does, cats do notice when things are really contrasty. Yeah, so he's, does look like he was going to jump up though. Okay, here we go. Where's the levels? Actually, it should be in my old notes. Hi. Oh, it's a cat. Hi. What do you want? What are you trying to do? Yeah, we last played this on September 1st. B blocks. There we go. Two player versions. Standard two player games. Finish the screen, then it's another player's turn. Our two players. Where both players are playing simultaneously and cooperative. Okay, so we're going to go to. Five. Can I switch okay. it? Nope. I'm doing really well. <laughs> Can I switch it? No. <laughs> no. Give me a second. Okay. I'm curious how the devs got so many different colors on a line. Um. Oh, that's my water. Um. If you look at the the use of player characters and ball it's quite an interesting pattern actually and uh it's not very straightforward so you should definitely look at the debug okay, yes debug colors in stellar mm -hmm. um because not for that obvious reason jared gray west is asking because it's mm -hmm. like how, how can you get that many that's that's, that's too many colors. eight eight across in a row because uh that's that's one thing the 2600 is not great at 
is having lots of things on the same line, lots of different things on the same line, especially colors. Because really, it has three colors. Yeah. It has player one. Well, it has more than three. Player one, player zero, and then it has a ball, which also shares it with the play field. And the players are in player one share it with their missile with their missiles. So that's three. And then you have a background, but the background's black here. So really you're working with three colors. But they have up to eight colors on yeah. the line. Mm -hmm. But you can change colors mid-line if you tell the Atari to say, oh, I want to change player one's color. And you can change it before it draws the next block of player one's color. Mm -hmm. But you have to do it at the right time, so it's not like changing the color in the middle of a block. Mm. Nope, 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 nope. Come here. <laughs> He's patrolling, like looking for a spot to jump up. Yeah. Hi. You gonna be cute for about two seconds? Hi. Oh, oh you're being cute. He's not actually cute. He is biding his time till he either bites me or runs away. Yes. But in the meantime, he will look cute. Yeah. Like, I'll, right. I'll put up the pretense for <laughs> I'll be a cute black and white cat. Yeah. Amazing for 2K. Needs a sequel like Pac-Man 4K, 8K, 16K with more features. <laughs> connect 4, Connect 5, special abilities. Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah Power-ups. Yeah. Okay, you're done. Okay. <laughs> you can't spend that much time on it. I know, it's lovely. I think it's... Uh, mm -hmm. Let's do 6. Oh, or 7. So. See who's who. I am white. And Tanya is what color? Nothing. Mm -hmm. It's the black. Is that what you are? I don't know what I am. It's actually very hard to see. I think I'm black. Yeah. Ugh. And it kind of pauses the other person. It yeah. pauses gameplay when... Which is, is frustrating. <laughs> and it kind of has to because... Oh, what the hell? I just You just took one of mine. <laughs> oh, and you just ruined... Because oh. you both could be go going for the same thing. And then whatever you're doing... Oh, one row, ha ha ha. So my score is on the bot. I think so. And Tanya's is on the top. Nope. I don't even know where I am anymore. <laughs> no, because it the black flashing is really because it's negating. It's hard to see sometimes, especially it's... if you interrupt it. And then I'm like, where am I? Where did I end up? Because <laughs> it, you know what? I wish. Um, I wish it would pause on your color, so you would turn black, so you could see where you were while it was pausing. Oh. Right, yeah. because I don't know where I am. Well. Because I tried to move, to... but it stopped me before I moved, so it's just one of those things. Well, it has to put the color black back because it has to match them up. It can't be black while I'm doing things. But it, while it's it's matching. A yeah, it's just very hard to. Uh, Mm. Oh, there's one. Oh. What? Do it. What is happening? <laughs> you just getting keep interrupting old, me. That's what's, what's happening. <laughs> How come I can't make that? Stop, 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 stop. Yeah? Why? Gray? Oh, it's changed. <laughs> it's, that's what happens, and it's hard to see where you're placed, too, because sometimes I... My eyes were tricking me. I know. I know. It's. It's. I feel like I'm... After a while, it's like, am I having a migraine or am I <laughs> my eyesight <laughs> going? <laughs> I like the two-player version. Oh yeah, yeah. it is two player fun because you're competing. Yeah. Just, I, just about any two-player game I find is more on? fun than one player there you go. because a human is unpredictable. A computer can kind of be predictable because they'll react the same way almost every time unless you put some randomization in it, but. That's hard to do. So who 
who's who? Hmm? Again, what's... I'm yellow, you're... We're neck and neck, really. Yes, I'm blue. Blue score. Mm -hmm. so I concentrated too much on that one thing that wasn't working. And any time a two-player game comes out for the 2600, I'm always very excited. Because it's almost a, always a good time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because no matter what kind of rules you put into the game, you never know how it's actually going to play with two players. Mm -hmm. Even with two different sets of people it's going to play differently because you're going to find different ways to play. Oh! oh restart. You want to end there? Yeah. That's we'll a good time. Woohoo, I won! <laughs> <laughs> Is that why you wanted but to end But it's pretty there? close. It was pretty close. Oh, I didn't read out because I was distracted. Okay. Um, so, uh, B Blocks is nominated for uh, Best uh, Homebrew Completed Port. Mm. Very good for a 2K game. That is amazing. It's mm -hmm. up against CDFJ Games, 32Ks. Um, and that's that's unbelievable. Um, it is also uh, nominated for best under 4K, 4K and under. Nice. And uh, it is really nice. good for a 2K game. The 10 million score seems like overkill, mm -hmm. but I think somebody rolled it in the B block thread. Yes, I saw some crazy scores. I think I think this is the kind of game. If you got time, you can probably do it. It's not it's not super hard. So. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Just Depends like, on it's, what. Um, it's a meditative game. I like games like that where you just kind of get in the flow of it. And, yeah. Yeah. So blip skip ball. Mm. If you could load that up, please. Mm -hmm. um, oh, B blocks was made by uh, Jeff. Uh, uh oh, my name. I, I have to pronounce his name. Haber. 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 And Jeremiah Noel. Oh, stinky guy. <laughs> Oof. Oh, it starts automatically, doesn't it? Uh, does it? I've already forgotten how to play. You go up the basket oh, and press yeah. the button. Didn't hear any talking. So this is Blip Skit Ball. This is a port of a handheld uh, LCD game. LCD game, yeah. Um, many of those were made in the 70s. Mm -hmm. um, and they're very, very, very popular mm -hmm. because sports is very, very popular. Oh, of course. And, um, and they're actually really, really fun in their kind of reduced form. There you go. 24 just... seconds to move your yellow cursor to one of the five places next to the basket. Ah. When B Blocks was presented the, uh, in the Z ZPH show, the static zero at the end of the score turned to be made with with two missiles. Oh, oh. yeah, I, re I remember looking at that. Yeah, I remember that. Really? Ugh, these people have to get out of my way. I just remember that. It's it's <laughs> it's you wait for them to give you an opening and you shoot. Because literally, that's all you. And can it's do. going back and forth, so you're supposed to pass the joystick back and forth. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Um. So I'm just playing both sides right now, <laughs> just fine. to keep it moving. But uh, it's so cute. I love games like this that emulate the old. Um, like they're recreating even the look of it because yeah. it looks like the the long rectangular handheld game. Mm -hmm. And it, it even, not only does that, it recreates the buttons, the movement buttons. Yes. That it's you cute. can see the up arrow, left, right. It's really, really clever. Ah. Um, so this is nominated for uh, graphics because it's got, because it's emulating the graphics so well. Uh, graphics for a homebrew completed port. Um, it's also nominated in uh, music and sound, probably because it's emulating the mm -hmm. sounds of of the original game. 
Um, yeah, so it's nominated in two categories. You can make it from the side of the key, too. You can. You just have to have no one in front blocking. of you. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so I, I, one, I don't. One, two, three. I don't four. have to go right in front of it, but. Yeah. Sometimes people jump in front of you, too. So. <laughs> Or as by people I mean little little LED <laughs> little lights, yeah. Little tiny, and the the great thing, and I don't know if it's intentional, because he could have used play field for this, but they're flickering, mm. like an L LED would. Um, no, he's probably using something because the play field's probably the white border around. Um, the edge yeah that makes sense so it's maybe it's not intentional and it mm. just happens to work out that way but he is constantly flickering them like even the ones yeah. that he doesn't need to flicker that are on their own line are flickering anyway they're giving their well yeah well, that's quite a defense they've built up there <laughs> yeah <laughs> like no nope. gigantic wall we're just gonna you know stand if you just stand there no one can get by <laughs> <laughs> like if they were actually had some intelligence it'd be like yeah you'd lose every well, single time it's not how real basketball works but mm -mm. you can get around people but uh yeah. not not these uh solid little uh, led lights so <laughs> no they're they not take too up, much brains yeah they need more black like, little black space between them yeah, yeah. more like it's very cute though mindless oh, creatures ended oh ended. Yep. i think that was the end you got three points 20 to 14 20 to 14. You yep. won and you lost. And I won. And I lost. <laughs> so let's move on to the next yep. game. Um... Mm -hmm. Carl G., I love that people have wondered how to make Atari games more primitive instead of the other way around. <laughs> let's, it's let's kind of true. Let's emulate an even more primitive system let's, on, let's on of already. Let's scale it back. Scale yes. it back to uh, yeah. even, even um, older tech. Next game is Flappy Bird. Mm. Which everyone knows. This is a 4K port. Uh, by uh, Stephen Illingworth. Mm. A.K.A. Jet Set Illing. Do you want to load it up? Nope. Not that date. Today's mm -hmm. date. Sorry, which one again? Flappy Bird. Flappy Bird. Oh, you're going to play this one here. Just okay. use one hand. Yeah. <laughs> so if you can find them on those. Okay. You know which ones? And that says okay okay and i died <laughs> flappy bird is hard and also not hard there we go now like, i'm getting uh, it flappy bird has one nomination in what category uh it's under the atari 2600 under 4k okay because it's 4k game right it's a f under 4k game or uh, how big is the greater game? than or equal to oh. And or less good. than or equal to 4K. Get it to 16. Uh, by Steve Illingsworth at Jet Set oh. Illy. How I big see is the game? Else. Should be right next to the name of the game. Uh, 4K. Okay. So 4K. And I think that that is the. Oh, 16 oh, is the high score. Mm. And I, there we go. And the white one is the. Oh, oh, you can't touch the bottom. Nope. It looks like uh, um, acid. I, I do. <laughs> I do like how the uh, oh. the trees look like um, static. <laughs> yeah, I'm. They're I'm thinking of, they're in the wind, like uh, wind, in the wind. Windy trees. Yes, rustling, rustling leaves in the wind. And it's got a kind of um, parallax mm. scrolling with the brown. Uh, trees and it's got not only brown but light brown and even lighter brown mm. for the trees in the background. Floppy Bird has a nice randomized tree leaves with parallax background. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, He's uh, written that as well as an impressive emulator. Cool. Mmm. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, your turn. My got turn. 16. Oh, takes a little getting used to, doesn't it? You uh, I don't love the new oh, arcade ticket goodness. games based on mobile apps, Flappy Bird, Fruit Ninja. The kids, all, kids always want to try and play them, and I'm thinking, can't you play this at home? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm not too uh, impressed by the new arcade games. When you go to new arcades, where it's those ticket machines. Oh, and, yeah. And they are, like you said, they're all based on, like, free-to-play yeah. games that you can get on your mobile yeah. device. And, and your They do it based on recognition, right? Oh. Yeah, they do. Um, they, do, they do it because the kids recognize them. Like, yeah. oh, I like this game. So. Yeah. And it I, has I, huge screens. I get it, but... Yeah. Uh, it there's not the originality of, of the arcade was where the originals came from and then everyone emulated yeah. them. It's sort of the opposite now. It's like, it's yeah. it's, it's it's the there, phones. <laughs> there are some some new uh, good new games. Um, he's he no, mentioned Space Invaders Frenzy, and there was also like mm. Massive Galaga. Oh yeah, we played Massive that at a at, at an arcade. And where... What is that Championship Pac Man as well? <sighs> Where there's four players and it's like this huge, massive crazy screen maze. of light. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's some. We, there's some decent bit uh, new ones. I mean, they're not new. They're based on ancient IPs. Oh, terrible! <laughs> I just can't time it well. You have to kind of flap through it, or you have to fall through it almost. There you go. Oh, yeah. it's so ready? easy to just. Not a good. Not very good. Here, Terry. <laughs> I had this game on my Pebble Watch. <laughs> There's a version of it, so uh, it's pretty ubiquitous now, Flappy Bird. Oh yeah, because it's one fairly, button, fairly simple to program. One button game. Especially for touch oh. screens, it's really good to uh, to make. Atari, just, do you want to play? So you just, just paw this button. We well, have to put a treat on it. Oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah, there has to be. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next game. All right. Which is Gruno Zerka. Gruno Zerka, which I have not played. We haven't played it on the show. Oh, yeah. So you're going to have to bear with me. I'll break out the instructions as well. Okay, okay. Uh, Captain Classic. Love the Pac-Man GameCube game designed for three ghost players and one oh. Game Boy Advance player. We have played that on our retro game no, nights. We have. It's really good. It is good. so cool. That game is so awesome for multiple four people. it's a four-player game. If you could load up the game, mm -hmm. please. Corneal Zerick, uh... A port of Grunozerka for the NES. Oh, mm. I, I remember this game. Yeah. Oh, is it not working? Mm, it turned blue. Blue screen of death. Um, okay. It's, it's the um, Is it not working the binary? in hardware? Did I... Watch the kitty head. Squish Watch the squished head. cat. Go to it. Maybe I had moved. Oh. What did I do? You okay. press the button. There. Uh, oh, it's the binary. Okay. That's what I pressed. Uh oh. It's uh the line count is bad. Oh, is I'm it? I'm guessing, yeah. So you we're gonna to... look at it through emulator. Okay. You wanna do that now or Um, we'll come back to that and I'll get at it ready. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna move on to uh Midspace, uh two K port by Chris Reed, who's Atari twenty six hundred land. Mm -hmm. And this is a port of Midspace, which details of it um so you aim left and right and shoot the things coming at you oh i see and if they touch the middle you lose and if they shoot you you lose ah. oh my goodness <laughs> and they aim for you so you have to keep oh no they don't aim for you some things aim for you maybe oh no they just shoot straight across just just go right into the line of the bullet so mid space is nominated for. Oh, let me flip this over. Goodness. Nominated for 4K and under games. It's a 2K port. Oh, getting just roasted. Sort of like turmoil. Yeah, in the fact that you are in the middle and you're shooting left and right. Uh, so it shares a couple resemblances to turmoil. Um, turmoil, you don't dive in on this one. Uh, where in turmoil you have to go in and collect things sometimes. I hate games where once you've shot, you're shot, <laughs> you have to wait till it gets to the end. It's a lot of those games. I know. So if you slightly miscalculate your shot, you like the you're you're, you're done. The retractable ones, where it's like you can recall your shot. Ugh, I yeah. Went right into it. <laughs> I know, because it's like. Evening Crespo. Um, we have played. 
so far. Avalanche, B Blocks, a Blipskit Ball, and Flappy Bird. We're making our way through the 2600 completed ports. And we have 10 of them tonight, so we're about halfway through. Oh, my turn. I always cheated on Space Invaders and fried the cart to get two shots. <laughs> That had a one-shot limit too. Ugh. Is S. Ramirez here? No, oh. I haven't heard. I haven't seen him today. Not tonight. Not chatting. No. Oh. The ones that don't move up and down. Hi, Ricardo Pam. Are difficult mm. because you have to get in, wait for their shot to pass. Especially if you don't hit them on the first shot. Yeah, if you don't, it's so frustrating. If you line yourself up and you don't hit them properly, and then you're waiting. Get that bean. Cashew. It's like, it is a cashew. It's a space cashew. It's, it's mixed nuts. It's mixed nuts, uh, cashews and pretzels. Yep. Oh, that's so funny. Is that what our, our alien overlord, overlords look like? Yep. Junk food. Ooh, it's a cheese it. Moved quicker, but didn't shoot. Ah. You have to almost get these in the first shot. Oh! First shot. 113. Any, uh, no details on which system ported from. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, mid-space. Uh, let me look it up. I should have this up. Because I'm not super familiar with this game. So, 2020... Okay, port. I think it's an obscure-ish. No, it's a port of his own game <laughs> that he made for the Game Boy. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Mm hmm. There you go. Chris Reed likes to make remake some of his games on multiple platforms. Gotcha. Does he program for Odyssey Two? as well. Hmm. Programs on a lot of different platforms. It's quite prolific. Uh, so we're going to uh, move on to Pit Cat, mm -hmm. which I believe is a two-player game. Is it? I know I there's two forget. characters in it. Oh, oh so cute. Do, 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 do. And Pit Cat is uh, nominated for Best Game. Best port game, uh, best graphics for a port, 2600, best music and sound for a port, obviously. Look at those graphics, look at them. Unbelievable. Um, no, I think there isn't a two player. It's just no, I don't two think characters. You picked round one to play. <laughs> I've forgotten I've forgotten it, so I'm like, well, uh, let's start with the round one. I okay. didn't mean to pick any round, actually. I was like, what's the uh, Oh, we might as well show the easy stuff. Yeah, so it's nominated for three. And Pit Cat uh, is a 16K port by uh, Marco Johannes, uh, Dyfed Hitchings uh, for production. Uh, Marco did programming. And Shermel Decker did the artwork. Oh, I think. Oh, no, you're not in trouble yet. <laughs> Looked like you were in trouble, like you're stuck. And it is made with kind of interlacy graphics. Really, really detailed graphics mm -hmm. and very colorful as well. It's really it's cute. Almost painfully cute. Rounds 30 through 90, 60 through 69, 90 through 99 are two character switchable rounds. Okay, mm. so we should show that. Oh, the switchable. Yeah, I remember. Um... Select and go to 60, let's say. And it shows you which one you conquered. That's Does fine. it? Yeah. Oh yeah, not now. It doesn't look like we've done any of them, but we have. Uh, yeah, because we have you have to record your oh, password. So to continue this from is a game, yeah. you record your password oh, and then you can yeah. put it in later. Yeah. And I believe it's a button to, to switch to what is that the other thing? character. It's the box. You have to sacrifice yourself. 
<laughs> Yay! Now you all go up into heaven. Um, it's very so, cute. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. And it is a port of a uh, cat trap, also known as Pitman. So there, that's where you get Pit Cat from. Uh, for the Game Boy. Another Game Boy game. Love the graphics technique. Technique, yes. Hmm. I think you have to kick it over and then use him, the box, and him to get over to him. Kick, kick, move. There you go. And then mm. do that again. <laughs> Ricardo Pem says, love everything this game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, what is there not to love in this game? The amazing music, amazing graphics, fun gameplay. Um, I mean, it's really, like, this is your game, right? This is puzzly. I love games like this. There's no danger. Yeah. Um, there's also a rewind function, I believe, on the second yes. button. Okay, wait. You can rewind if you make a mistake. Yeah, so instead with of the, starting the whole round with over. With the button on the second joystick, which is amazing because you don't have to get up to your console mm. to rewind it, which is a base in, uh, on a type of game called Pitman, originally mm. for the Sharp MZ700 computer by the same author as the okay. Game Boy version. Back, back, back. More? Mm -hmm. More? Uh, back? Oh, okay. you want to... Nope. Push the box. Nope. Yeah, okay. And then... No. No. Yeah. The box is stuck now. No, I think you need that. No. Mm. You gotta put somebody down there. Oh, okay. And kick Go the box back. over Go top back. of them. So, there. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's, well, it's fine. Put the pink person down into the pit. You and then kick the box, then you fall off. Oh, no. no, you ha no, you can't do that. So you you kick the box. Yeah. Mm. Now that we have a rewind, does that mean save states are next? Save state. Yeah, I, mean, I know how to do it. Okay. There there is a password function in this game that does save your game and which levels you've completed. Oh, you put the blue guy in the pit. There we go. Um, oh, interesting. And Penalt uses uh, the uh, Atari Vox to save your game. So there's been lots of advances in the 2600 mm -hmm. in the past little while. A lot of people figuring out new ways to continue games and con and and save save games. I wonder which CPU variants for retro consoles computers sold the most systems. Which CPU? Well, 6502, probably. Um, because 6502 is used in, like, a lot of systems. <laughs> the t-shirt I'm wearing. Like, a lot. It was used in the, the NES. Just that alone. Plus Atari. Plus... Commodore 64 as well, and then just a whole host of other ones that are uh, not as well known. So I think the 6502 probably wins. Mm. Apple computers also, right? I, yeah, I think so. I spent a lot of time figuring out how to undo movements. Yeah, I bet. Early ones anyway. Early apples, yeah, not, not modern apples. Okay. You have played this enough. That that did mean anyway. <laughs> um, obviously, this is this is an incredible it's so feat. So much fun. <laughs> incredible, incredible feat. Um, we're going to move on to Robot mm. City. By Thomas Yanch. Mm. Um, game design and programming, and David Exton. Illustration and manual design. This is beautiful. This title, by the way. Yeah, in a 4K game. Oh, so a pretty. nice title screen. Gorgeous. It almost looks like it's wavy, but it's not. Oh. It's because of the color. Yeah. 
and the gradation on each on each line there. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's just uh, so it's amazing. So, Robot City. Oh, actually, some of these are up for packaging as well. I haven't been. Let's see. I think this is the first one we're playing tonight that's up for packaging. Yep. Need to reset. Yep. Oh. Press a button. Oh. Something's being funny. Ooh. Funk Monker 98. Thank you for following. Woohoo! What's happening? I don't know. Something. It's not. Try now. Something is up. Oh. Because I have difficulty. Set to A from a, a game we played back. And apparently A is pause on the right difficulty for mm. this game. That would do it. Okay. Uh, Robot City 4K Port is nominated for, I believe, four awards. It's one of the two games that's nominated for four awards. Uh, Homebrew Complete for Game Port. Uh, homebrew completed port for graphics. Uh, homebrew completed port for music and sound. Uh, no, it's actually up for five awards. Uh, homebrew completed port for 4K and under. And also, Atari 2600 homebrew packaging. Five awards this is up for. Mm -hmm. is such a fun game it is it's so fun and <laughs> it's so good he's got he got the levels so that <sighs> the easiest level is fun to play yeah and it's not too hard and the hardest level is devastatingly hard and in between i think you're on the level where they can't resuscitate each other oh, oh. oh i'm dead oh. ah yeah. dead 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 yeah the cover art um, for this is is astounding. It's really, really, really good. Who did that cover art? Uh, David Exton. Well, I believe it did a, a couple of um, artwork this time around. Did he? Did he? Did he? Yeah, Robot City. Oh, no, just one. Oh, I hit it. Ah. Just one. It's like a moving puzzle game. It. It is. Um, for people who aren't, as, uh, aren't knowledgeable about this game, mm. you're the helicopter there, and you have to shoot the tanks moving around. But, but from behind only. They have shields in front of them. Oh, Ooh. oh it just And dodge me. the bullets. <laughs> and you have to dodge bullets. Yeah. On the easier levels... Oh, God. <laughs> we went back down again. I'm doing terrible. Mm. Um, they can shoot each other too. Let's see if I can get that, make that happen. Ugh, no. Yeah, you just got Oh, so close. Watch out. Get out of the way. On the harder levels, they can revive each other. Yes. That and is that not fun. That is devastating. Oh, God. No, you don't want to be down that hallway. Uh, yes, 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 yes. You That's need going behind. To give so it is a puzzle. Because In a way, it's yeah. a shifting puzzle almost. Yeah. There we go. Good job. Tunnel Runner. Love that game. Fear of hearing monsters approaching his Yes. <laughs> and this is a port of a game that never came out. Mm. Um, I believe. Was it for Odyssey 2? Oh boy. No, 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 don't crash. Ugh. And then they, no. they reverse on you. This well, this one's hard because oh you've got God. that long quarter down the middle, too. I'm going to be in trouble here. Yeah, I got to get You got him. Yeah, but <gasps> not this one. Oh. 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 Run, 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 run. I'm dead. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now Cornered. I'm oh, no, I'm not dead. Not yet. Oh, shit. Get out of the way. Oh now no, now you're dead. Don't. Is he going to turn towards you? No! Uh, <laughs> and uh, traps. Uh, is oh, the point value uh, higher when you get them to kill each other in the cross? I don't think ooh, so. I think it's the same. Good question. 
think you get. You should. You should. Because that's harder. I think it's the same, though. Well, it's more luck than anything else. Um, and there's options for randomized. Oh. See, you did it there, right? Yep, I did. Yeah. yeah, but I can't do that. There's, on different levels, there's options for randomized levels, because some levels are harder than others. Mm. Uh, the mazes, because it's harder to get them, and there's long corridors. Oh, they always turn just when you get to them. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Ah! There we go. Now, yeah, you do, you do have to be careful where their corpses end up, too. Yeah, because they'll hit them and turn around, and then, yeah, and then come, come back, back for down. You. Now I have to wait. There we to... go. Oh. oh! And it takes time for your bullet to reach them, so it's like... Yeah, come on. good job. I can't remember what the point system is like, whether it's... I think it is it is based definitely on how much time you have left. Mm -hmm. um, but that's points at the end of... Did you get any points for shooting them? Yeah, you did. Mm. Oh, God. I got it. That's not a good thing to do, is you want to... You wanna kill them not at a point where they're going to block four oh directions God. right so yeah i'm kind of stuck in this area yeah now. okay let's go up nope 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 oh good oh. Okay, now i am in a good spot because i can just follow him around until oh. until you have a there you there go. There we go. Good stuff. You want to kill them in corners? Yes. Yes, yes do, crossbow. That's do that's not the right approach. Block. Yeah. If you big block corridors. if you block like a crossing point, it's like really really inconvenient. So, so I should wait till this guy's in a corner yeah. and shoot him. Yeah. Oh, he See, shot the other guy. Uh -huh. Oh, did he? <laughs> yeah. Nice. I could go down there, but I'm too New close. One year two. Dangerous. Oh, perfect, 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 perfect. Oh, he's come back. Damn it. That's okay. <gasps> oh! oh! No, no, no. Too risky. Too Almost risky. got it. Almost got it. I thought I had it. Okay, watch out. These guys are both coming in your direction, so. Uh, can you might this turn. This guy to go up. You can manipulate them A by little bit. being more in one direction than another. Watch out. Oh. Get out of the way. Get, get, get. Oh. Oh, oh. now you're tr kind of trapped. No. Be careful. I'll just lead him no, one no. way or the go other. No, no. Go down. Oh, babe. No, no, you're no. crazy. No. He's going to either come up or he's going to go there. And then I follow him. Oh. Oh. Yeah. When there's one left, it's fine. Yeah, it's true. It is a when lot easier. There's when there's four, four. <laughs> it's a bad time. Yeah. There. Nice. See? If you're far but enough he away... You, you, he, he's blocking that whole corridor yeah. for you now, which is really annoying. Ugh. You have fewer escape points. That is the problem. Yeah. Now I'm going to get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. too... Too risky. Too and when they revive there. each other, it's really frustrating. Oh it's like, I've won! No, you haven't. no I've lost! Oh, oh no, he's it. coming for you. See, they try and shoot you through walls. Yeah. They're, they're just like, I see you. Yeah. I see you. Which way are you going to go? Mm -hmm. Nope. Go this way. Okay. Oh, I turned around and got mm. killed because my rotor hit it. Ugh. Those damn rotors. Yep. Always getting in the way. The helicopter is drawn with the ball character. Yeah. You can see the uh, length of the pieces of the helicopter are either one, four, or eight. Mm. See the bottom, if I'm facing this way, it's one, then two, then four, then two, mm -hmm. then one, and then four. If I'm facing this way, you can see it's four, mm. one, four, now you're going to get killed. Because yeah, you weren't paying explained. attention. <laughs> That's okay. Palm uh, face. Oh, I got one life left. Okay. And then we'll move on. It's going to hit. Turn around. Ugh. Go down. Go down. Nope. It's coming for you. They, they do aim for... They go straight for you. Do they? Yeah. They, they bounce off each other, though. Yep. But they do go for you in a certain way. Yep. This, this game is so fun, and it's oh addictive. Like once you start playing, you just want to keep playing. It's yeah. it's, it's a really. Um... Here we go. Let's try. Oh damn it! Okay, let's do it again. No! Ah! <laughs> you have to watch the whole board at once. Oh god! Oh god! No. Go that way. Yeah, run, 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 down. run, run, run. Okay. Run away! <laughs> oh They're all in one spot there. Which is, which is actually fine with me. Sometimes, if they shoot oh. each other, yes. Okay, what am I going to do here? There we go. Okay. You 
guys come down here. You come down here. And then come down here. Nope. Damn it. Both come down here. There nice. you go. Now I can deal with this guy. You come down here. And then I'll just follow you wherever you are. Yeah, Jared Ray West, I really like this because it looks like a game that might have actually come out for the Atari in the 100%. early 80s, but it yep. still plays really well. It's simple yep. and fun, and those are the best games. They're yep. the best games. It's like Easy Flappy Bird. Yep. Stupidly simple game. <laughs> Kids everywhere know it. Easy to learn, hard to master. And and those are the best games. Yep. Like, that game could have come out... For the Atari, oh, you know, easily. like, you know, yep. it's so simple the way it plays. It's elegant. Yes, that's elegant. a good way. Yes. That's a good way of describing it. It's very elegant in how it plays. Yeah, there's nothing in this game mm -hmm. that wasn't created back in the 80s. Mm. Or even 70s. Yeah. Late 70s, probably. I and, don't know. like, uh, the aesthetic of the mazes, too, is such a... Ah. You gotta oh, run, 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 run! Oh, oh you gotta go to the end. To, you know. Yeah, I'm getting lots of lives. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Um, this is a hard level because of the long stretches. It is. So if you end up in a corridor, um, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. Okay, let's get this guy. Uh, good. Now you. Um, now you're gonna. You blocked yourself there. Oof. There we go. Oh uh, yeah, run away, away. Get that guy. Just and it's moot. Oh, no, no, no. I want him down here. There's more room. No. Oh, you can chase him. Uh, yeah, there's a turnaround point. Him. I can get him. If I can, if I chase him, I can get him. Yeah. Because you need a loop. Yeah, If you've you go. got a loop, you're you're safe. You're safe, yeah. Because you can chase him one way or the other. And you're other. a little faster than them. A little yeah. bit faster. You do catch up to them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was dead. Might be a bit harder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> Last life. I yeah. don't know. This one is. There's a lot of different directions that can get you. I'm gonna come up. Yeah. There we go. Oh. If you can get pick one off or two off right away, then a lot better chance of survival. Ah. You also have to make sure you don't run into them. Mm -hmm. If you follow really close to them, you can accidentally just yeah. run into them. Okay, you shoot each other. Oh, I didn't see the red guy. Okay. <laughs> okay. 1224. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Yep. If I made this game, I wouldn't have used infinite lives. I would have used infinite lives, yeah. Oh, uh, we're going to move on to uh, game number eight today. Tower mm -hmm. of Rubble. You eight, didn't. 8K port. This one, right? Yep. Did you say what it was nominated for? Yeah, everything. <laughs> Every category was uh, eligible. So we're going to play two players. Actually, you play one player and then I'll jump in after. Because um, I'll read out what this is nominated for. And who made it? This is Tower of Rebel, an 8K port. Uh, originally Commodore 64 game, and then it was ported to DOS. I think that's the, the direction. But I think this one... <laughs> Ah, I fell down. I didn't mean to. Was based on the C64 or the DOS one. I can, uh. I can never remember. It's by Dion Olsthorn, uh, programming and manual, and Dave Dries for the label and box artwork. And it is nominated for uh, Atari 2600 Homebrew Completed Port Game. Uh, nominated for uh, Atari 2600 Port for Graphics. Atari 2600 Port for Music and Sound. Um, and I believe also nominated for packaging. So it is nominated for four, four categories. And it is also one of those games where it's simple to learn, mm -hmm. somewhat simple to learn. There are some tricky moves that you have to kind of understand, like hanging from ledges, but it's like, you've oh. got to avoid 
falling in the water <laughs> like that and you can avoid hang off zapped, things but yeah and things dropped on you Whew. so let's play two player oh okay versus versus <laughs> okay ready i'm blue i think yeah i think so yeah i'm blue Now, and you also have to kind of keep up with the the sides that get uh, destroyed the along the way. The sides, you've got to stay on your island <laughs> and make sure you're on the right island because, okay. oh, God, I pressed it too early. <laughs> Stupid. So you can turn around on the spot. You can hang down off of a mm -hmm. ledge. You can hop from ledge to ledge over a a two, a wide pit of two. Mm -hmm. I always find it's best to go up because falling down is faster mm -hmm. than climbing up. And then they break away as well. Oops. And also having options is good too. So you want to be in the spot where you have the most options. because I'm looking away. There we go. Mine. I'm the king of the castle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now it's eating away at the center and yeah. building up the sides. You do want to get to the side, but not yeah. too early. Yeah. Because if you go too early, there's no real space for you. See? Now I'm going to go. I don't know how you, how you jump. You hang off the ledge. Press down. Down? And then press over to the left. Well, it's too late now. Oh, it's Lord. too high. Whoa! That was lucky. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's there's some some. Int if 2020 was an island. Yeah. No yep. kidding. Oh my goodness. The animation is so excellent in this one. Yes, he yeah. did. I believe a frame by frame analysis of the original game, and uh, got the animation down perfect. And since the 2600 can do 60 frames a second, it's going to look smooth. And it does. If you have enough uh, frames of animation, which this does, it is super smooth. And the, the graphics are so good. For like a little tiny guy, right? <laughs> oh god. I'm not in a good spot. Survived. See, the island's only one right now. You don't want to be there don't want to help to a one space island because you will be killed three is usually when i'm comfortable going to the island because then you have a bit of options <gasps> oh my god okay now it's three and i'm going to go over now there you go and then it loops like that it'll destroy the middle and then the sides will be start to be uh, built up now it's four on the sides. And if you kind of start recognizing... Oh my god, this is terrible. Oh my god. There's only one safe spot. <laughs> um, start recognizing the patterns. Mm -hmm. And you know where to be at any given time. You can be somewhat safe. Mm -hmm. It's never perfect because there is randomization. Is there randomization or is there a pattern? I can't remember. So now it's starting to build up the middle. Now it has a middle. And you want to be in the middle, because it'll start breaking down the sides. I think it gets more and more hectic, a little bit more hectic as time goes on, too. More things are happening at once. And you can kind of tell how far you've been by the number of sections, mm -hmm. SEC. See, now we're at kind of where we started, where there's an island in the middle. Mm -hmm. It's rebuilding no, the, the middle island now. Yeah, and no sides. And now it's starting. Just starting to do the sides. Let's go. Nice tunes, nice graphics, mm -hmm. great gameplay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you. See, I was nice. Yes, I could have let him you die. could have killed me there. I could have let him die. Oh, ah. oh god. Not many ah. Oh no! Not many spaces left. I let him live and I died. So there you go. That's your punishment. Good times. 
good No times. good deed goes unpunished. That's right. Ah! <laughs> oh. How do you... Oh, you do go down. Okay. I was trying to figure out, like, how do you hang off the ledge, but you have to go down. You have to face backwards and climb down backwards. Yeah. Yeah. And if you noticed, um, oh god, no! <laughs> two, 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 two. Even now. I made a mistake. It's usually when you die is like, ah, oh, I made a mistake. Fell in the ocean or moved to the wrong spot. Because you can start moving and a block will fall down. And, and but the, by the time you move there and move out of the way, you're dead. You're dead. Like yeah. you can make accidental moves, so you have yeah. to be deliberate. Fairly precise in your movements. Like, don't move to something unless you know it's super safe. I think there was controlled randomness added. There is There's a randomness always to one it. safe place to stand, yeah. Yeah, you don't want to make a game where, yeah, you're going to die. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you make mistakes like that. Yeah, it's, it's, that's usually how you die. Yeah. What is this, playing till five? I don't so know. We played to three already, so. Yeah. There's, it's nice. The randomness is nice because sometimes yeah. you really do end up cornered, right? So, yeah. and you could memorize this pattern. Yeah, it doesn't do exactly the same thing. No, no, it doesn't. So that was risky because there mm. was things destroying what I was standing on, and also things destroying the sides too. Yeah, there's a lot more going on now. Mm -hmm. Oh god, <sighs> that was close. See, like, this is almost death. <laughs> like, there's not many places to go. Hi. Hello. Shake hands. Hello. 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 <laughs> I think if this game was turned into an engine, a game engine, mm. where you can use, like, blocks in these guys, um, you could make a lot of different games. Like if you could uh, make this into a, a game construction set or something. Oof, I thought I might die there. I thought you were going to die too. Oh. There goes the middle. Oh my god. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Does the water ever increase? No. No. It kind of just bobs up and down. And uh, really nice water too. Like just look at the water itself how good the water is like in in any game that water would be astounding but you're so distracted by how how nice everything else is that the water is like just a, a side thing mm -hmm. but it's got like the waves and it's the little waves are moving and it's and it's bobbing up and down And he's got the interlaced graphics of red and gray. Mm -hmm. So he's able to take away one of those colors when things are getting destroyed mm -hmm. and make it look like it's falling it's, apart. It's, it's disintegrating. See, he's getting rid of certain levels of yeah. the gray. It's just, it's just brilliant. Oh. <laughs> You're kind of climbing on nothing Half for a climbing, second. Yeah. Need one more on my side to get over. Oh no, it's gonna disintegrate that. Oh, it's destroying my island on the side already. Okay, now mm -hmm. I'm gonna go for it. There's three over there. Yeah, my feet were in the water there. Oh god. Yeah, you can hang into the oh, water. Look at that. That killed me. Look, I'm I went I won in the water. <laughs> I, I That's jumped, funny. I jumped across and landed on the edge in the water, and I was like, I thought it was dead. Oh. And it, but I'm like, oh no, you can hang off the edge, so. Good job. Lasered, dumb autocorrect. Mm -hmm. Lasered is a word. I just made it up. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of the water in the title of the game Go mm -hmm. Fish for the 2600 older homebrew that came out in 2004. I don't think I've played Go Fish yet. Hmm. Okay. We'll end Pretty on a tie. Time. Yes. Can I nice um, okay, grab... check out the title screen? Mm. Tower of Rubble. He has made, well, that's beautiful up there. Yeah. But he's made the title screen a practice screen. 
where oh, you, yeah. can't, you can't die. Yeah. And so you, you can you can get used to the movement and jumping across and because he's placed everything you ever need in here. Yes. It's like one jumping up to a two. I love that. You can fall down. Yeah. And you can practice mm -hmm. your jump across too here. Mm -hmm. It's such a nice little touch, and it's like yep. yeah, learn to play. You you don't need a, a tutorial level. You just and this is a practice. jump to a hang. Yeah. This is a hang to a hang. Everything, everything you need, and I'm moving, mm -hmm. um, moving across one to one. Yeah, yeah. Everything you need is right here before mm -hmm. you even start the game, because mm -hmm. a lot of modern games have tutorial levels, right? And yes. this is kind of the, a I tutorial title screen. Yeah, but it's also if you're not ready to play yet, you can just fiddle around with it. I really like that. What, you, what do you need to do? I'm just getting some more people. Okay. <laughs> Uh, we're going to move on to the next game, uh, game number nine for the night, which is Zookeeper, which is a 32K port. And I am going to plug in the Atari box because it does use the Atari box. It's not really a two player game, not simultaneous anyway. Hmm. So. Uh, Zookeeper is made by John Shampo of Champ Games, um, Code and Design, Nathan Strum for graphics, Robert Vieira, music and sound effects, Thomas Yench, music and sound effects, Code, Lee Keebler, Kebler, additional music and testing, Nathan Strum for packaging, illustration, and design. Uh, Atari Age. No sound on that one? That's interesting. Is there no sound in that title? That was very strange. Uh, okay. Zookeeper, port of the arcade game. Jump over the uh, animals. Collect the beers. Get the net. Send the animals back into the middle. Get another beer and keep them inside and you get a bonus for each creature that is inside and the more creatures you jump the more bonus you get so you kind of want the animals out of the cage Why did you come in that way <laughs> that seemed like super awkward oh, i don't know <laughs> I don't know, I didn't want to walk in front of the camera, so I guess. So I'm going to jump two of them there, and you get double. So the animals increase more and more and more and more and more and more mm -hmm. until you get up to lions. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there are these bonus screens, which there are two of. This one is a Tanya is not very good at. You're playing it, so don't, <laughs> don't, don't say I'm not good at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> it no. is hard, though. I, I find the movement... It's very unique movement it's in the, this level. Yeah, and you kind of jump and move. And once you get the hang of it, it's not too, too bad, you but to it's to challenging. Yeah. There's coconuts falling. Yeah, the coconuts are just frantic. Oh, this one doesn't start with the cage at all. That's fine. And there's a way. There, you can jump all those. 6,000 points. And the way you face dictates which direction the animals exit yeah when they come out they run so away from you you kind of want them all going in the same direction so if that you, you can, can jump a ton of them all at once if you, you get if, super bonuses if you look at the world record holders and how they play it's pretty it's pretty awesome oh my god yeah you get like million points in one jump uh, Captain Classic says you can hold fire to jump constantly, which helps with timing for me. I think it would depend on how comfortable you are with the timing. But yeah, yeah. it can if yeah. you get good timing going. Oh, you mean on this screen? Because yeah, you can jump constantly, yeah. and it does keep you out of danger. Yeah, when there's a ton. This... Yeah. Yeah. It is a tactic. I have used it because you touch the ground for a millisecond, but you still have to guarantee that you're going to land yeah. in a safe spot. I said on the second screen. Hmm. Um, yeah, it's true. I'm not gonna do that though, because <laughs> I'm not used to doing that. Ah, oh. ah! Oh. And you see the safe area starts disappearing. Here we go. Got it. The safe area on the bottom disappears. Yeah. 
Oh, oh I, I, I could not do this one. I cannot ah. jump over it. It's insane. You have to jump at exactly the right spot, don't you? Yeah. Oh, I don't know where it? it is. Where it is. There you go. It's, it's like... There you go. It's like at the edge of the cage. Like yeah. the edge there and the edge there. Mooses. The Mises are loose. The Mises are loose. I don't know how many moose are in zoos generally, but... <laughs> I've never seen a moose in this. No, I don't think I've ever seen a moose. But it's then not... again, we're Canadian, and moose just exist in <laughs> Canada. So I don't know. It's not really a, a thing. Uh, they're uh, uh, huge too. So oh, they're you'd massive. Have, a, have pretty good cage to keep them in if you wanted to if do that. If you've it. never seen a moose, you will be shocked when you see how big they are. You're like, whoa! <laughs> like they're just, yeah. they're gigantic. Here's a big jump. Only 2,000? Oh. Okay, so oh. then you can get them back going in the right direction. Dan ABC commenting, Zoo Zookeeper it. won Best Work in Progress in last year's Atari Homebrew Awards. Uh, yeah. That's a good Carl comment. Carl G. also stating, haven't seen moose in zoos here either. <laughs> I don't think it's, it's a thing that they put in zoos. Maybe, maybe not in North American zoos, but possibly in other countries. I don't know. So I'm facing that direction. Yeah. See, they all came out in one direction almost. Yeah. Now I can get some... Good jumps going on. There we go. See, 15,000. But they all have to, because they all go at different speeds, you almost have to wait to the perfect moment. Ah! Okay, your turn. And I will let people know what categories <laughs> it is nominated for. Yeah. I don't think cages can hold mooses or meese. Meese. It is nominated uh, for four mooses. categories. You can just put whatever in, even though it is saving it. Um, uh, Zookeeper is nominated. You can play. Nominated for best homebrew completed port. Uh, best homebrew completed port for graphics. Best homebrew completed port for music and sound. And best homebrew packaging for 2600. Cages can. I don't think cages can hold moose. Nope. Moose is like a deer buck on super steroids. Yeah. It's enormous. Like. Eight they're, feet tall. They're terrifying. Like eight feet tall. Yeah. Like they're taller than all all humans, <laughs> except for really really tall humans. Yeah. yeah, I guess um, zookeepers are only holdover because. The only time, way you can compete in two separate home rewards is winning for work in progress and then moving on and having a completed game. Ah. So it's the only title to have that distinction mm. this year, is that it won last year. Mm. Or I guess you could <sighs> if you had a completed game but your packaging wasn't done yet. You could span. I think we have had that before. Ooh, lots oh, of coconuts I everywhere. know. I'm not good at dodging the coconuts. Didn't Princess Mononoke Noki ride a moose? It wasn't a really a moose. Was it? It was a creature. <laughs> ah! It was, it was a, it was a uh, wolf. Wasn't it a wolf? A it giant wolf. wolf. It yeah, was a yeah, wolf, yeah. Not a... I, this, the bonus not a levels moose. kill me. It was a big, it was a big wolf, to, to be fair. It will put you on easy level. No, no, it's okay. Do you want to play? Do you want to keep going, or do we have um, another game to play? One more time. Okay. White Wolf, yes. That is correct, with blood around its mouth. <laughs> Vicious, huge White Wolf. Studio Ghibli is awesome! Mm -hmm. We went there. In Japan. Oh, they have a museum in, in Tokyo, or out, in, kind of in the outskirts of Tokyo. Disneyland in Jap Japan. Yeah. No, it's not really. We tried to take photos. They don't let you take photos. They, got, they do. They got we, got, we got screamed at. <laughs> You're allowed to take photos outside. But not, not inside the museum. Not allowed to take photos inside the museum. And they have a gigantic catabus like, that you can crawl inside. through. And it's all like, it's like a gigantic stuffed animal. Oh, it's so cute. Anyway, if you're a fan of Studio Ghibli, yeah. highly recommended. Yeah. Highly recommended. If you're ever in Japan, oh, I knew I was going to land on it. Here, I'll prove it. <laughs> I'll prove we were there. 
I'm gonna bring up a photo. Oh, oh, it's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, it's wonderful. And they also have an animation shorts that you can watch there that don't exist anywhere else. So. Yes. I would like to go to Japan sometime. Oh, yeah, it's amazing. We enjoyed it. It's actually where we went on our honeymoon. So, exactly. A little piece of zero page trivia. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> there we go. Mm, crossbow seven. Crossbow says, yeah, I'm dead. This level kills me. I'm a huge Ghibli fan. Uh, it was a nice long walk. They have a... Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, I read the line bel below. Uh, I will have to buy all the movies again for the fourth time if they ever release them on 4K Ultra. Yeah. Oh, oh you're putting... <laughs> they're so expensive. Oh. It's cute. It's a long time ago. There Jam you go. Jam Tex. Yeah, I walked there from Nakano. It was a nice long walk. They have a rotating section for... Another studio. Been there three times. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, you did put it all. <laughs> That's nice. Why is both of us in it, right? Yeah. Let's see if I can find another nice picture. <laughs> oh. Not that. Way. Let's see if I can find the for mm. forbidden catabus picture. There's the forbidden forbidden. Uh, so we took a photo from outside pointing in, and that's when we got yelled at. <laughs> that woman yelled at me. Like, no pictures! No pictures! <laughs> Get out! But we were technically outside taking photos. I was technically outside. <laughs> technically outside. But a gigantic and technically is the best cannabis. kind of right. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. It's <laughs> cute. It was very cute. Uh, so we're going to move on to the... 10th game of the night, last game of the night, mm. Granio Zerka. And you're leaving again. Nope. Also <laughs> proving we were Oh, she's getting something. Souvenir, I believe. Okay. Granio Just in Zerka. case you were wondering what was in that bag. Oh. Who can go and not oh. buy a Totoro and a Soot Sprite? So, this is my little guy. So cute. He's awesome. Granio Zerka. There we go. Yeah, the Soot Sprite should have a home here. Should he? Yeah, he's a good Soot Sprite. <laughs> <laughs> he is very cute. Oh, this is a very tall game. Mm. Okay. Princess Monoke, Yakul, Red Elk. Mm. Right. Ashitaka rides the Yakul. Okay. Yeah. Not a moose, but but <laughs> elks are pretty close. Yeah. Is that good? It's a very wide game. Oh my goodness. Aw. My wife has a smaller Totoro and a small uh, Gigi cat on her computer desk. Yeah. The Totoro, both of them. So this guy actually has his tags on still. From <laughs> just cause. Just cause. Um, so this is Grenio Zerka. I'm just going to play with the keyboard so I don't have to haul out a USB controller. Um, this is nominated for uh, Best 4K and Under Port 2600. Mm. Oh, maybe I should not be pressing buttons where I'm not supposed to. Uh, that was not good. So in this, you, change your color? you have to change the color to match the bomb. Ah. And you've got three colors. You can't just hit back and forth. You have to kind of look know at you. where and, you're at, yeah. And I believe somebody made the comment. Oh, no, it is red, green, blue. Red. Oh, that's much easier. Red, green. Oh, that's bad. So RGB. Good. Red, green. There was, it was another game that had it out of order. Oh, game too loud, someone's saying. Oh. What, you don't like your ears being blasted off? There you go. Game over. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, everyone, because it was using a you, different... You're using the computer, not Using that. the computer. Yeah. yeah. So you start in neutral color. 
That was interesting. So you can't get the... It forces you to <laughs> you change color. You have to color. hit the button. Ah. Oh, you can uh, go around. Good to know. Still need to be the same color. Yeah. So a fairly straightforward game. Looks like someone Oops. bombing E.T. <laughs> a little bit. Hey, if you don't like E.T. He e. looks like a then... little capybara. Oh, Doesn't he? He looks like yes. a little capybara. I don't know what that name means, but... Uh, yeah, I'll have to look it up. He kind of, that's what it reminds me of. Oh, I went too far. Um, so this game is made by... Uh, Simon Manson. Uh, mm. Sendraz. It's a 4K game. This may work over there. Sorry. Mm. Looks like someone bumped. Yeah, too loud. <laughs> Pop the sound down. Mm. Uh, oh, F2. Sorry. And then space. space. Or F2 again. And then it's just side to side? Yeah. And then space bar to uh, change color. F2. Yeah, it uses the controls on the, the little switches. Oh, we missed it. That's not good. I would look something up, but I can't, because this is on the computer, and you're using the keyboard. It would totally interrupt you. It also worked on the plus cart. Oh, so this is available on the plus cart. Very cool. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, just about every homebrew available on the plus cart, if you have that. Because um, I'm not sure who keeps up the rep repository for... Oh, Ooh, so close. I feel like you can't run fast enough. World's largest can. rodent. Saw several in the wild in Brazil. Oh, oh I want to see one in the wild. I want to see one in the wild. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. They kind of look like gigantic um, guinea pigs almost. Pretty much guinea pig yeah. looking. But they kind of remind me of beavers squat, too. Because beavers can be solid, quite... solid. Little legs. Yeah, they're not... I think they're bigger than beavers, but they're like beavers without the tail in a way. Yeah. Like kind of big. Oh, the face is very much yeah. like a um, guinea pig, though. Large dog rodents. <laughs> I once... Okay, this dates me. Do mm. you want to play again? Or? Uh, sure. Um, I remember playing... It was like Flash Online Multiplayer Jeopardy. This was when I was yeah. in like university. And one of the questions was, what is the biggest rodent? Oh... And you knew it? did you type it in or did you pick from a list? And there were three people and we were just random people. And we had this, this whole conversation about whether a New York City rat, a beaver, <laughs> or a capy, capybara, capybara yeah. were the biggest. And it, it was literally one guy from New York, me from Canada, and, <laughs> and a South American having this argument. And the South American would know. Well, right? the, the South American won. And, oh. But I was like, no, it's a beaver. It has to be a beaver. And so we had this, Beavers are we big. had this funny argument about but not, or not what rodent. rodents are the biggest. And Is it a rodent? A beaver? Yeah, beaver's a rodent. Because of the teeth? They're a rodent, yeah. What defines a rodent? Is the oh, ever-growing ever teeth? Is yeah, ever, ever-growing teeth are part rabbits of Rabbits are rodents, though. No, but... Um, but they, and they have teeth that grow I'm pretty, forever. I'm pretty sure beavers are rodents. Anyway, mm. we that, that would, there was a big, big topic of conversation. <laughs> um... Cappy bears are huge, and like you see photos of them, and you're like, oh yeah, no, they're they're big. They, they look <laughs> they're... so calm and so gentle. I've never seen a mad cappy bear. Yeah, unlike a New York a New York City rodent. <laughs> yeah, they're just which look terrifying. eternally mad, <laughs> eternally mad. I don't know if this speeds up. Is it, I guess it is mm. it speeding up mm. a little bit? I don't think so. I don't think I played this for too long. I do think it's cute, though. Oh, yeah, the little guy shuffling his feet. Super cute. But you have to run towards... If, if it's oh, really God. far away, you have to run really quickly. I should have lapped around, though. I should yeah, have went the other way. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Actually, you should run towards... Well, you see it right away, so there's no you point in running. You run as quickly as possible. But, yeah, you have to think about wrapping around as well. Yeah. That so might be your shortest distance. So if you're ever on the left or right, you're like, well, be ready to run the other direction. Yeah. See, well, maybe I wrapping could've... around, you yeah. could have made it. Yeah. yeah. See, now I have to. Watch. Oh, crossbow! They have some in my local zoo here. Yeah. Really? 
I don't think I've ever seen a capybara. Not, not in real I've life. I've seen many videos, but... Many, 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 because they're so yeah. cute. Rabbits aren't rodents because of the extra pair of incisors. Ah, Captain Classic was looking it up. <laughs> wow, it's based on the teeth. Yeah. Still the teeth. Well, it's teeth. But often it's more than that. I mean, it's it could be skeletal structure as well. Yeah. But um, I guess you can play this infinitely because <laughs> I'm doing well. It doesn't seem to be appreciably speeding up. I have missed a couple. I think like two. Nah, it's not speeding up. Wait, <laughs> I'll wait till a hundred. Yeah, get if to 100. If it doesn't speed up, then yeah. we will quit. Oh! I have to make it to 100. I, I definitely want to make it ah. to 100 now. Debola Donna is a Brazilian who sees capybaras frequently in my city. I love to see everybody fascinated with them. To me, is so nor normal. <laughs> yeah, well, it's kind what? of like, probably like New York City rats. <laughs> yeah. It's you like, know, oh, you it's... see them, they're just normal wildlife and... I mean, I have to say, you don't see that many beavers. I'm always impressed when I see a beaver, because you tend to have to be in a forest, by a lake. Like, they're not they're not city dwellers, so you don't tend to see them they, that frequently. They, they do exist in Vancouver. And bears, and apparently if you live in Newfoundland, you'll see moose everywhere. Yes. Um, and if you're driving by the highway, you see bears and moose all the time. But they're not, you don't see them that often. Ugh. Uh, wasn't there a beaver in Vancouver that it was eating koi fish out of the uh, Japanese garden? Oh, really? It was stealing all the koi fish. Really? <laughs> it was crossing the road, eating them, and going back. Uh, one of one of our friends was saying that uh, one oh, of our local parks. Oh, eat them. Yes. They eat them. Yeah. Well, you know, people eat. <laughs> people eat. People need to eat. So, um, uh, no. One of my friends was in one of the local parks by her. There's there are beavers by the lake there if, if oh. you're lucky you'll get to see them so i grew up uh in ottawa and ottawa is surrounded by what they call um oh let's get this back up. the green belt so there's this swath of area that's like wide forest land and in there there's tons of beaver ponds and beaver dams so growing up you would go for these short walks you'd see them and you'd see oh, them oh nice. but but not always, you know, like some years they would make a home at a certain lake and you could keep going back mm -hmm. and other times they, w they wouldn't make their home there. So. I owned four chinchillas at one point. Four? Yeah. I didn't know you had four. I had a pair of chinchillas and they had babies. Oh. Yeah. That's a problem with pears. <laughs> and the babies had... were that big and they were little fluff balls. Oh, that's so cute. Just pretend it's like this size the the adult ones yeah except just fluff oh. and you press your hand into it and it just keeps sinking <laughs> it's the so literally the softest thing i've ever felt yeah still to this date wow. is a chinchilla wow because they bath the, bathe themselves in dust. volcanic dust yeah. yeah 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 next segment on animals <laughs> animals around the world i actually like the off topic. yeah um we, you've we, had quite a few pets i've had quite a few pets too yeah, dogs, cats, rats. Um, you had chihuahuas at one time? Yeah, chihuahuas, chinchillas, yeah. hamsters, uh, rabbits, but we ate them. <laughs> chickens. You had chickens? Those are your, really your parents pets. had chickens? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, about four or five chickens. Yeah. Uh, ferrets. My friends had ferrets, but yeah. I never had a ferret. My sister yeah. had a lizard. Oh, really? Uh, a dragon bearded dragon bearded dragon mm. i think yep mm. very strong tail <laughs> very unruly um yeah rats are gentle super smart yeah and you said you love them you oh, love they're having so rats cute, yeah tiny little paws but they die after two or three years it's not worth it yeah <laughs> it's hard not, on kids it's too, just I bet. heartbreak yeah heartbreak yeah. so uh, other than the early death they're like one of the best pets. Yeah. They're yeah. okay litter trained. They'll kind of pee everywhere a little bit. Yeah. But they'll go back yeah. to their litter and do yeah. the rest there. Mm -hmm. um, super clean animals. Yeah. They don't smell. They get lots of tumors and respiratory oh, really? issues. Aww. That's what they die of is That's tumors sad. and respiratory issues. Yeah. But other than that, they are awesome pets. We had hamsters. I would get a pet rat 
for a kid over a hamster or a mouse. Really? Like 100% really? any day. That's interesting. They're so nice. Yeah. But they're very sociable and you should definitely get two. Mm. Like the rat will go insane. Yeah. They need, yeah. They need company. They need company. That's especially. really sweet to know. Um, yeah. I had a hamster that became 14. Um, <laughs> it's a long... 14? 14. Oh my god. Uh, the first round, so we got Smokey, who is a female, who was already pregnant from the pet store. Had, nice bonus. Had seven babies, <laughs> oh god. which we sold back, back to the pet store, and then at some point mated with one of her babies and had like oh. six more. And then at that Filthy point, animals. we just... No, the first round we gave away to people in the neighborhood. And yeah. the second round, we just sold them back to the pet store. Oh, my gosh. Um, but they were cute. Yeah. And then I had a pet rabbit that I got from my mother's friend because her teenage kids wouldn't take care of it. So all of a sudden, I came home from school one day, and we had Snowball. <laughs> and Snowball stayed in a hutch Snowball. in the back. And uh, according to my mother's friend, it took three weeks for her kids to notice the pet rabbit. They don't deserve that rabbit. <laughs> so she just got rid of the rabbit. Bad kids. And then I've had a lot of cats. No dogs, though. My mom's not a dog person, so I've never had Too much any work. dogs. Yeah. Anyway, I digress. Um, so that's all the games for today. All the ports. We've covered all the ports now. Yeah. We have? Yep. Oh, I didn't realize we were at the end. <laughs> yep. Ten games. Good, good games. About All of them good just games. On time. Yeah. Um, yeah, of course. They're the best of the best yeah. voted in by the nomination committee. And now it's your turn to vote on those. Now that we've shown them off to you, mm -hmm. you get a better idea. You should play them as well. Mm -hmm. They're available for download um, to play all the versions we played. So definitely check them out. And then now you can vote on um, port, uh, 2600 port completed ports for graphics, music and sound, um, under 4K ports. Um, and we also played, what did we play? All the works in progress. So you get an idea. We played those last episode. So all that's left now for 2600, we have two more episodes for review of games. Mm -hmm. The next episode is completed um, original games, mm -hmm. completed original games. I don't know how many there are of those, but probably around the same. Yeah, Maybe probably 10, 10, 10 or so. Yeah. There's a good uh, variety here. Excellent. Of completed games. Um, and then, so that's on Friday. Mm. Then on next Tuesday is 8-bit and 7,800 games. Mm. It's going to be quite a few there. So we're going to have to really roll through those. Oh, post a link. Yes. Sorry. That's a good idea. So you can um, get to the voting easily. Post a link to the third annual on Atari for the YouTube description. Oh, in when I put it up on YouTube. Yes, mm. that's a very good idea, actually. So I'm going to say now, people who are watching it <laughs> on YouTube, there's a link below. <laughs> and I'll add that link as well to the last episode. It was a very, very smart idea. There you go. Uh, the 8-bit will... Ooh. You know what? I will try and get it working on the XEGS. Um, because why emulate it when you can play it properly? Yeah. Because I have a, I have a multi-cart. Yeah. I, for the XEGS. Oh, that's the X... Where is it? There it is. Hmm. A bunch of stuff up here. <laughs> Can't really get to it right now, but I am almost certain I have an SD-based multi-cart. Oh, why wouldn't I? Really? That's of good. course I would. That good. Would be very silly not to. Mm -hmm. um, yes. <laughs> it uh, would be very silly. It not would be to. very <laughs> silly not to. Um, so yeah, the seven eight hundred will be uh, on actual hardware mm. with the Pokey chip, which mm. I just got right here, and I'll be installing it tonight. Nice for sure. Nice. All I have to do is make sure this little cutout here see that one side is cut out yes is oriented in the right position okay um so that i don't blow it up and be down to pokey carts <laughs> pokey chips yeah that's yeah not we don't try anything yeah that would be why would be emulate bad. maybe different homebrews require different versions of os yeah hopefully they're mm -hmm. all compatible but i can just load them on there's only six for each category so i'll be able to test them very quickly mm. run through each six and any i can't play i will emulate mm. 
um, and I'll set that up with the emulator. Um, so next, next one is original 2600 games. The ones after that, 8-bit, 5200, 7800 games. Mm -hmm. And then the, ch the Saturday after that, mm -hmm. on February 6th, is the award presentation. Yes. Wow. Uh, Poke One and Poke Max, true, but they don't work so well in the... Um, I think the Poke... Which one doesn't fit? One of them doesn't fit... Well, he knows. Crossbow would know. Mm -hmm. But one of them doesn't fit in the concerto cart. Mm. Um, and one of them, I think somebody was saying this, you shouldn't put it in there because it's a waste. I, I can't remember mm. if the other one is a problem. It's great to see more 7800 development and support their backlogs of people wanting concertos and dragonflies. Mm -hmm. Yes. The wave is coming of 7800 content. It is. Yeah. Now that we've got that audio mm. um, development kit um, for... 7800 basic yeah that's gonna propel forward the audio side of things as well mm -hmm. make it more accessible um i didn't think about the size issue yeah i've seen people comment on pokey one and pokey max they don't actually even fit they don't fit in a cart mm. i think they work but they don't fit well so it's it's not ideal it's better to put, use just normal pokies um and then after that we're back on the 12th of February, I may push that a little bit forward depending how exhausted I am mm -hmm. from the awards. Shouldn't be too bad. You should be. But okay. I want to get back to <laughs> regular, <laughs> regular games because there's a backlog of 7,800 well, games and 2,600. It's good because now you have a yeah. library to play through Lots. when when when, oh when you God. get to the end of it, right? Yeah. And that's good. That's good because then it sets you up for the next little while. Yeah, we're gonna play updated Popeye 7,800. Oh, awesome. Um, when you got the poke chip? Yep. Yeah. Pokey. I like poke. Poke, poke the food. I the feel like poke bowl. right now. <laughs> noodle bowl. <laughs> it's not noodles, it's rice. It's rice? I'm okay. in a poke mood right now. No, pokey. <laughs> we just the had poke that chip. pretty much for dinner. Well, and you a know what? With... I had sushi at lunch. So. Oh my God. <laughs> you just really want I'm that. on a Japanese feel right now, talking about the Totoro and the oh and, and going to Tokyo. So we're going to play Popeye 7800. The new Galaxian game yep. from um, Pac-Man Plus from yep. Bob. Uh, Pac-Man Collection 40th Anniversary from Bob as well. Bob De Crescenzo. Mm. Um, and then we've got an exclusive the next day, Space Pac-Man. Remember mm. that one? Where you're eating pellets in space and you're falling to Earth. Mm. It's crazy. Got mm -hmm. an update on that. Mm. Uh, Night Guy in Low Res World Castle Days. Mm. He's updated. He just updated that. Did he? Oh, wow. We're going to try for the, for a homebrew patch, LEM. Okay. Uh, and that's part of the high score showdown as well. So that's two things in one. You get the patch and, and the a high, high score. score. Okay. In the high score show, showdown. All right. Uh, then uh, Dragon Hunt, work in progress. We're going to play another game for the high score showdown, Al Alia Quest. And then another 7800 day with Heartlight and Plink. And then, unscheduled, but coming up, is Quadtari Day. <gasps> it's coming out. That is the four-player adaption. Mm -hmm. I'm going to see if Geo can come over for that one. We'll get at least three people. Mm. Yeah, maybe? I think push it until we can have people here, but yeah. yes. Well, we'll see. We'll see what uh, what the rules are at the, around that time. Oh, it's all about the rules. It's like a it's it's like a month away, or more. If it's more than a month away, we might be okay. But the it's BC's really getting hard. Better. It is getting better. better but, not good, but it's better. But with all the COVID variants, I think they're going to keep things as locked down as they can. Yeah, that's reasonable. Uh, so it's yeah. hard to say. Hard but to say. Um, it would be lovely to have. Uh, yeah. Darcy back and you know if Geo or Erlen yeah. or anyone else wants to come yeah, exactly. along because um, there are legitimate four player games yes yeah there's there is the two player plus audio yeah. games uh, with the with the two players on one mm -hmm. port and then the uh, Atari Vox on the second port mm -hmm. but there's the quad Tari games that come along with it quad games and 
There's an unannounced game as well that somebody has contacted me about. Really? That is also a four-player game. Wow. That has nothing to do with John Champo <laughs> or, the, or the Quadtari wow. uh, developer. Um, they're independently, and I think it's the first game outside of those two people. Nice. Um, that is being developed uh, a quad game with four four players, and it's and it looks pretty fun. Mm. Um, so we're going to be playing Galagon, Wizard of War Arcade, Robo Robo War, Robot War twenty six eighty four, and Gorf mm. Arcade because they all support um, the Quadtari. Plus, maybe John Shampo will have an extra game by then. We'll see. He has enough anyway. Four player for seven eight hundred. Te- I don't know about the compatibility with seven eight hundred. I don't see any reason it shouldn't be, mm. because joysticks for the twenty six hundred mm. work in the seven eight hundred, mm. and it should be able to read the pins exactly the same. Are there four player games though? Oh no 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 no! Yeah, this is someone fir- would have to develop. This it. is the first yeah. ever. Uh, like I'll have the premiere of the Quadtari. Like nice. nobody's played these games before with four people. <laughs> um, no, this is except for, I think the NES was the first mm. game to have a four port. Oh yeah. Breakout. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. Mm. There might have been ones for computers, of course. There's lots of computer adaptions. Mm. New Champ Games release. That would be amazing. Yeah, four player, four player Archon. Mm, that would be interesting. <laughs> Atari 800, four ports there. Yeah. See, I knew computers would have it. But yeah. consoles, consoles, yeah. yeah. Medieval Mayhem is four... Oh, oh it's yeah, so okay. much fun. Paddles, paddles, paddles. Yeah. Joysticks I'm talking about. Yeah. 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 yeah, Nathan Strom got me there. Yeah. Hi, Nathan Strom. <laughs> Hi, Nathan Strom. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm going to prove you wrong. Speak up. <laughs> Bally Astrocade. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Bally Astrocade had four joysticks? Wow. Wow, okay. That's oh, fun. yeah, four port 5200s. Never mind. Yeah. Any mind. Anyway. Oh, Mule. Oh, my God. That would be so good. Yeah, if you could use the engine from, say, Penult mm. or Pitcat mm. um, for Mule, you probably never played Mule. I don't know. It's, I it's don't like a, so. a resource based game where you're on a planet and you put different um, things that you're. Uh... Oh. oh, who's that? Uh, Trouble8385 is following. Thanks for watching. Um, you can get solar energy, or you can mine for resources, or mm-hmm. you can farm. Mm-hmm. And then there's uh, you trade them, or sell them, or buy them, and you mm-hmm. need them for certain things to make gotcha. more robots to mine things. And it's a fun strategy four player game. I played it all the time in the C64. Mm. And, um, how did we play it? I think two people were on the keyboard and two people were on joysticks on the C64. Mm. I don't see a reason why you couldn't make it um, on the 2600. Now with some of the upgrades that people have been doing, especially like like the ones I mentioned, Pit, uh, Pitcat and um, Penult, it would be a bit like, it, it would have to flash to get the, the color but it would have that interleaving kind of technology mm. you'd have to use it because there's a lot of detail. Um, I don't know how wide the screen is. They may have to shrink it down mm. a bit. Anyway, um, also the Quadtari can do eight paddles, mm. but only the button works. So you could, I, I was theor- thinking the other day mm. of eight paddles paddle games eight player paddle games first of all how do you get eight people in front of a tv in a room (laughs) you can do it i can't you can barely fit four people when when we did our marathon we had four people in this room it was like 400 degrees in here (laughs) it was so hot because this room it's hard to see because of camera angles and things like that but it is a very small room so yeah it's deceptive it's deceptive Um, I was thinking of eight player paddle games, eight player one button games that you could do. Yeah. And I was thinking one of them could be an endless runner game where each person has a, a thin, like it, low res graphics. Yeah. Like this stacked oh. on top of each other. Oh, wow. And you either duck by holding it. Yeah. Or press the button to jump. Wow. Um, and each person is ducking or jumping. You can have eight players going at once across the yeah. screen. 
Unless they can get the Wi-Fi function working, and then you could have eight players playing that game and pushing your button. Well, yeah, you could, but then you wouldn't what, need... What is then that? You what need, is that? You wouldn't need eight paddles locally, is, then. You could what, just use a joystick. What am I referencing? The, the, uh, the, the plus card. The plus card. Yeah, but then you don't need... You could have 16 if you have eight on one side and then eight I on wanna another. I want to see that happen. I want to <laughs> see that happen. Something really, really simple and like 16 people playing Steeple at Steeplechase times two. <laughs> there you go. I don't think any people have played eight, eight player, player games, games very often. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. Do people even have families that have eight, eight what is the, people in it? Like, <laughs> what do systems max out? Not so much out? anymore. Because uh, Switch, you can start hooking up things. Yeah. Uh, there was the Game Boy mm. where you could link multiple people, and I think it got up really high. The numbers you could start oh, linking. Oh, that you could link Because you could link one to another one to another one to another one and keep going up to a certain point. Mm -hmm. And it might have been 16, but it might have just been cut off at 8. Um, there's a reason 10-player Bomberman, there we go, at Saturn at cons was always using a projector. Mm. We have a projector. So we could do it with a projector, actually, and move it upstairs. And we'd have to do it on um, a game night. Yes. Retro gaming night. Yeah. So there's something. Yeah. Somebody has to make an eight player paddle <laughs> button game and we'll play it on the show. You can make an eight player paddle button. I will. If nobody makes it. Because it's it's like Just simple. something super simple. Super, super simple. Yeah. Because you don't need to read the paddle. Yeah. That's very time consuming is reading the paddle. Just but reading the button is not. Get VHZC to make some graphics for people to jump over. Yeah. So. Do, 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 yeah. Do, yeah. Adapt his game. Yeah. Uh, I ran, I ran eight times. What, yeah. what could you call it? I don't know, but I, I ran eight. I have a feeling eight he'd I ran. be totally into that. Yeah, eight, eight I ran. <laughs> eight I ran. <laughs> <laughs> Links was able to link up to eight people. Okay, so mm. ten player Bomberman, eight people links. Eight player Hungry Hungry Hippos. Eight players. <laughs> How could you have eight players? Was there an eight player version? It's just no, no, four. just four. <laughs> oh, I. Oh, that's true. Because it's just one button. <laughs> Carl G, that's an excellent, <laughs> excellent idea. Because you, you have to think of only one button one games. One button games, yeah. So yeah, a little hippos Yeah. going out and grabbing the marbles as they bounce around the screen. Yeah. You could use Playfield for the marbles. It might be too chunky. You could flash. You could use yeah. flashing um, flashing little balls. Yeah. Yeah, you use a white, white border for the play field. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, use the balls as balls and yeah. just flash them when they are on the same line. Yeah. And then you could have four on one side, four on the other, the hippos. Carl G, I was kidding. No, you're not. Still, no. No, you could have two up top, <laughs> two on the sides. Yeah. No flashing necessary. Yeah. At all. They'd be solid players. Mm. Oh, my God. Okay, that has to be made. <laughs> has to be made. And mm. it's such a simple concept, except for the uh, physics of the balls, because mm. you'd want them to bounce properly and possibly bounce off each other. But you don't have to have them bounce off each other, because that's a lot of processing mm. power to keep track of all the balls all over the place. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't kid. That's an excellent idea. <laughs> that's an excellent idea. So we've got two, two ideas for eight player uh... games. They had some games you had to link. You can link up to. Oh, eight. the Jag? Uh, but you would have more cycles for the physics since you don't have to read controller directions. Yeah. yeah it's just one button. Bu you have yeah. to just check eight buttons. That's it. Yeah. And, uh, or eight inputs. Yeah. And then you just have to say, is ball on this line? Yeah. In this area? Yeah. And you go, ch -ch 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 -ch. nope, 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 nope. Yep. And disappear the ball and add one to their score. Mm -hmm. Oh, you'd have to have scores too. But, uh... That's not too bad because you could have this uh, just offset a bit. Just mm. have them above the hippos. Mm. Yeah, just up a bit. And then you could use those as players too. Yep. Perfect. But you'd have more cycles for the physics. Yeah. There you go. There's some ideas. I know nobody likes ideas. People peddling ideas. There's a whole thread on that. Oh, peddling ideas? Yes. But why not? I Can mean, you make this game for me? Make no. this game no, for but me. But it's <laughs> not about making the games. It's just you're just brainstorming you're just yeah. thinking what are some cool things that could happen and someone might go hey i want to try that i want to try and make that so yeah you know it's it's you're not asking people mm -mm. to do it we're just thinking thinking of possibilities Hell, I'll make so these games. and like the hungry hungry hippos i think it's 
awesome. <laughs> in theory, you could e use each of the joystick inputs to get 20 inputs. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look at the keyboard controller that we're using, right? There's 24 inputs on those keyboard controllers. It's 12 on each. Mm. So you could have everyone gather around the keyboard controllers yeah. <laughs> for testing. <laughs> like if you don't have a quad tar, you could use the keyboard controllers for testing. And then yeah. at the last That's second, very true. at the last second, you go, nope, now read inputs from the quad tar instead of the keyboard controller. Could you not take your keyboard? Or just use joysticks. Could like you? Left, right, up, down. Uh, speaking of impossible things that you're just, oh, can you make this? Uh, if the keyboard controller has 24 inputs, 24 buttons, yeah. create one of these with 24 buttons on it that that is a another option is to like you'd literally split it into yeah. 24 inputs but that's hardware that you'd have to make and sell to a person oh and that's, no i'm not saying that's, that's reasonable an impediment. reasonable in any sense of the word but but and i'm sure you could do that and yeah. i'm sure they did that for game shows they had buttons that people pressed Smacked, hooked yeah. up to a commodore 64 yeah. or something yeah or an amiga or whatever era yeah. they're in yeah. And it just went, and it just lit up something, right? Yeah. Carl G., I like to think of six <laughs> impossible games before breakfast. <laughs> yeah, custom Why hardware. Why not? Why not? If you're going to make uh, custom hardware, you have to make it so that it's useful for many, many games. Well, if you're going to you, make it, you, you have to make it for people. You like, can't just, you know, you can theorize things yeah. and make it for yourself, but that's like, a different like thing. Like, think about the Quadtari. Yeah. There's already five, four or five games released that work with the Quadtari mm. before the Quadtari is even out. Mm. So it's almost like it's got built-in software so that when you have it ready for release for the hardware to sell, people go, oh, there's four games I can buy. And it works with that. And I can have the, the speech going at the same time as two people are playing. Mm -hmm. um, so you need the games to go along with it. Because mm -hmm. um, a lot of controllers for the 2600 had like, the game and the controller and they had to package them together because nobody would buy them separately i think mm. it was indy 500 only used the driving controller yeah yeah there's the driving controllers i think there was just one game head kicker <laughs> arena <laughs> yeah there you go yeah the race is on who can develop the homebrew with the most players pressing a single button <laughs> Uh, <laughs> use Mario, Mario Party games for inspiration because oh. they are there's a ton of one button games yeah yeah, yeah. I, I actually really like Mario Party that's really fun to play super fun <laughs> yeah I think we, got, we had it? it for the Wii we have it for the Wii yeah. I don't think they're very expensive games they, well anything you put Mario in front of anything and it's like $80 on yeah. the Switch which is unfortunate or even WarioWare yeah those yeah. mini games any mini game any like mini games. on phones yeah. anywhere yeah Brainstorm for another game for the driving mm. controller. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, because the driving controllers it spins around and around and around, and it's very underused. Same with the keyboard controllers; they're yeah. very, very underused from the twenty six hundred. Yeah, I'm waiting for the next console, like modern console, that's like oh, paddles. Oh, I wish. Like, I like wish. I, I, I just I, I envision it's like retro. Everything comes I mean, back. There's going to be a paddle controller no, at some there, point. Technically, there is. Yeah. On the new. <laughs> VCS, uh, the joystick um, spins. It spins. It's, oh. I, I don't know how how much I like that. Um, have you played Party Mix Super Trigger in the twenty six hundred? No, I have not. No, well, maybe no. we should. Huh. It's not a homebrew. <laughs> Still. <laughs> Therefore, it's banned. No. <laughs> is there a, is there a patch? Because if there's a patch, <laughs> no, they'll no play patch. it. <laughs> there's no patch. Somebody have to make one up. <laughs> um, yeah, on the new VCS. Yeah. I hate that name. I hate it so much. That's the VCS. Yeah. That is the, the, the new one is not, they even named it 400 and 800, which is the names of their computers back yeah. in the day. It's just, it makes old school people really upset yeah. that you're naming a new console, the same exact name as the old console. Mm. Like, how do you start Don't searching do things? Don't like, do it. Oh, I want to search for things for the 800, yeah. Atari 800. And it all it comes up with is stuff that was released in 2021. Mm. Like, mm. Atari Box. There we go. Yeah. I'll call it that. I forgot the the, the name that everybody calls it here. The Atari, <laughs> Atari Box. Box. But it's, yeah. 
Don't do that. I agree. I agree. It's dilution. Give it a unique name. Yeah. Look at Microsoft's naming. It's like Xbox, Xbox One, Xbox X, Xbox Ugh. X One. It's like, I, I, I don't even know the names because I... I've lost track. Xbox 360. That's where Why? I stopped. <laughs> Why? 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 That, what makes it 360? At least that's okay. No, but what makes it 360? Like I don't know. You spin around. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you can move the <sighs> joystick in a 360 degree. Yeah. But people are theorizing, oh, 720, 1080, and they yeah. <laughs> keep going, but then they just wrecked it. And yeah. Xbox and, One. Why? <laughs> <laughs> like, I just... <sighs> You know, parents going to buy their kids a console, and they're like, "Not I, knowing, I have what to, to buy get. the Xbox." Like, oh, that one's cheaper. That one's last year's version. And you're, your your kid wants your this kid's going to be upset. Yeah. yeah. PlayStation, they got it right. One, two, three, four, four five. five. Yeah. Very easy. Yeah. Yeah. Wii and Wii U. That was yeah. a mistake, and I'm glad they stopped doing that. They now they have Wii. Switch. Great. It's a totally new name. Very identifiable. Yeah. 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 I mean, their DS is is kind of crazy. It's like 3DS, well, 2DS, uh, and what? then they had the uh, right? 3DS Lite, 3DS XL. Oh my God, it's a yeah. it's a huge list. But yeah, they are. They you have to call them something different, yeah. and they are similar. And that's anyway. gone now. the The DSs are gone, and now it's all the Switch, yeah. which actually makes it much I, simpler in a way. They, I think they did stop all yeah. DS. They did. did they? Yeah. I think they did. Yeah. It's because Switch is, uh, Switch is great. Like, yeah. it does replace it. It's handheld, it's portable. It's called rebooting, yes. And I do uh, not like that either. Yeah. Yeah. It's called lazy naming. Yes. It's called lazy, lazy uh, studios is yeah. what it's called. Well, it's familiarity. It's name recognition. It's creating you think, content. You think 2600 is has higher recognition than VCS. Like, nobody knows VCS. We know VCS. But the public knows 2600. It's very weird that they picked VCS. Yeah. Anyway, enough blabbing about nothing. <laughs> uh, this is good angry content for, yeah. <laughs> while we're playing games. Good angry Switch con uh, Twitch content. Yeah. Switch content. Switch oh, my God. Our Switch uh, has only left the dock twice, and it was so my wife could play uh, EC while the mother-in-law was watching a movie. We do that. <laughs> like, you play it handheld when I'm watching TV. But mostly yeah. we... Well, actually, you do I play it. You hand handheld most of the time, don't yeah, you? Yeah, but uh, if you if you um, recall, Atari did chew through the HDMI cable, so I was that playing it handheld a for a while for, because it wasn't actually working with the TV. That's why. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I will play it. I will play it if you're doing other things. We're making our yeah. way through Kirby, right now. Not Kirby. Oh my God! Yoshi. Why do you say Yoshi's Kirby every Crafted time? Yoshi. World, which is wonderful. Oh it's my a God. wonderful little game. I'm gonna game. play it right after this. Yeah, because <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. You got that at Christmas, the, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting all the little doggy doggy levels. And you're doing the main levels mostly. Poochie, yeah. Poochie yeah. levels. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, Switch is portable enough, small enough, yeah. So they need to make a smaller version, which I'm sure they will. Yeah. Uh so yeah, so that's uh the show's coming up. <laughs> uh so I'm I'm excited about the Quatari, obviously. So it's coming any day. Any day now. Yeah. Crossbow, we'll Animal Crossing. I dig that. <laughs> yeah. I play a lot of Animal Addicted Crossing. To it. Yep. They've set it up so it makes you want to go back every day because you have to. I, I haven't, to be honest. Get your turn up. I got every into day. all the Christmas stuff and I haven't played it very much since then because there's nothing you, special you did, going on right you did now. Halloween, right? Yeah, like, Halloween and you fall. Did some fall, some flower festival. But I thing. kind of, after Christmas, I kind of went meh. And so I haven't, I haven't gone back to it in a while. Mm. We've been playing Yoshi quite a bit, so. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. We're going to read out the names. All right. Thank you, everyone, for chatting. Yes, thank you we so much. We got off for on in. a lot of tangents today, but we played yeah. a lot of amazing games yes. as well. Yes. And make sure you go so. vote for the games. Actually, play them, then yep. vote. Make sure you know which ones you like and yes. which ones. I've got the ice theme theme furniture and stuff from the snowman by the way enough animal crossing <laughs> talk forever yeah this um, this could quite easily if you bring your wife online and and we'll sign just, her in we'll just have an animal crossing we'll show turn this into an animal <laughs> crossing stream right <laughs> yes <laughs> um thanks crossbow flackets jared gray west carl g jam tex nathan strum uh ooh, a lot of those people talking over and over Captain Classic. Oh, same people. Say, oh, Marco Johannes. Oh, uh, uh, Double Adonna. Double Adonna. Yeah. 
Thanks for joining us. That's a new name. Oh, Funk Monker. That's a great name. Uh, that is a good name. Yeah. I like oh, it. and that's the end of the chat. Yeah. Lots of chatting. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much uh, for tuning in. Thank you. It was a it was a fun show. Lots of fun games. I, I mean, you were playing the we, best of. We're playing really, the best, best of. Best of 2020. We're playing a lot of games we played before. Yes, yeah, so we're very familiar with yeah. them. Yeah. Um, and we love all the games. They're so they're so fun. Yeah. Every single game we we play during these nominations have something to them. Obviously, that the nomination committee's like, that's awesome. Yeah. That's cool. And yeah. they voted for like yeah. somebody voted for all these games, and a lot of them multiple times. Like multiple people voted for the game. So, yeah. um, thanks for tuning in, and we'll be back on Friday, same mm -hmm. time, uh, for some more awesome games. Mm -hmm. And so we will see you then. Thanks, everybody. Bye. 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 Have a good night. Have a good night.